Hello! Welcome everyone. It is the normal Thursday Q&A done abnormally because we're out here in the studio and we don't have Dane here at the moment with us, but we got Juan instead. Yep. Yes. And Dane will be joining us and uh, we're very excited guys. It is a Dane's not normal. joining us. He's not? No, no, he's not. Oh. Sorry. Well, maybe. But <laughs> point is, it is a Friday Eve. It is back to our normal format, style. So we've got all your guys' questions. We're gonna be trying to get through them, answering them for y'all, helping you out. And uh, as of course, Juan's been doing some traveling. We've got guests in the facility. We've got guests coming on Monday. We'll have a special guest in the podcast for you guys. Uh, so we need to be as safe as we possibly can. So we're all wearing masks because uh, Juan and I are gonna be heading down to Mobile Tech at the end of the month. And we really don't wanna get sick prior to our trip down to Florida. So. Uh, apologies in case you guys are wondering why you can't see our beautiful faces, but we got a, uh, a good show for <laughs> you today. Anthony, do we have any housekeeping going on? Thanks for asking, Levi. So no major housekeeping to do to, to right now in terms of like sweeping or mopping okay, or, any type of, or any type of light dusting. Um, however, we're just going to have a good week and just letting you know that we are very busy right now. It's and um, crazy. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's, it's, it's. It's busy on, I wouldn't say like a business side of thing, or how do I say this? It's not busy on like an order, like we're not like, you know, that busy. It's, the busy we are is coordinating everybody coming in and out of this building. Yes. The guests, the plans, everything on that front, it's getting pretty crazy. Uh, but um, one thing I do want to note that I haven't really addressed yet uh, would be the, uh, this camera is just killer, right? <laughs> I, I feel like my mask looks all funky right now. Let me, let me try it. It's not like that, right? Um, Grand Ambassador of the Year. Oh. The plan was to pick and announce, uh, well, we've already kind of picked it just to announce. We were going to announce sometime this week. That was the plan. It's uh, not going to happen until probably next week. It's just too busy this week. Honestly, there's yeah. too many things going on um, with Dane not being here and, um, and a lot of people out on the office. Um, it just, we don't have the the people we need to make it all happen. So uh, I'm sorry for making you wait. Um, another, another on pins and needles. I know, another, we, another hopefully chomping. another week we'll have it all sorted out. Uh, we have to let them know soon though. Yeah. Let, let just, just throwing that out there. So. Um, Can't make them wait any longer. Yeah, so uh, next week, that'll be the plan for that. Um, besides that though, I don't really have too many other things to report. We've been started on our weight loss journeys, we right? Did. Yeah. So I saw that you got started with drinking Pepsi cane sugar. Mexican Pepsi. Yeah. Brought to me by Juan. He mm -hmm. went down to Mexico for Christmas, came back with a couple bottles of Pepsi for me. Mm. Uh, They're not plastic bottles. And not plastic. Glass. Glass, Glass. bottles. And uh, one of the great things about this that I love is it says, Excesso azucares and excesso calorías, which means excessive calories and excessive <laughs> sugars. <laughs> so, um, not the most healthiest. You can see I've already taken a, a little nip off of this, yeah. you know. Kind of take the hex off of it, so to speak, as my grandmother used to say. Um, hit, yeah. So, i uh, been enjoying it. It's delicious. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Uh, nothing else like it, mm -hmm. really. I mean, on this end of the planet. I gotta go a little bit south to get gotcha, it, yeah. but point so is, good, yeah. I appreciate you getting it for me, Juan. It was a nice uh, little Christmas present I got to get. I got two bottles, mm. so I'm very excited. Very nice. Two different bottles too. That's the cool thing. Ooh. You know, they reuse the bottles down yeah. there. So, but I got those. Uh, Juan, you were just in Burley doing a boat marine training for G Technic Marine. Indeed, I was in Burley. I was in my hometown, and I actually was invited to do a training over there in Burley and. They say, hey, um, we have a marine training. You, would you like to help us? I was like, yeah, where are I? In Idaho. I was like, yeah, where in Idaho? Burley, Idaho. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was born in Burley, Idaho. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I was born and raised in Burley, Idaho. So, oh. yeah, I was like, it was really excited to, to do my first training as a marine in my hometown. Yeah, there you so go. Do you ever drive by your old house? Oh, I actually spent the night. I, I didn't get a hotel. I actually spent the night. I mean, I stayed at my parents' house. Really? I mean, 
Have they been in the same house the yeah, whole time? Yeah, dude. Seriously. No way. <laughs> yeah, dude. They stayed in the same That's house awesome. in the entire... same oh house. Oh, my gosh. Right in front of that junior high. I mean, just boom, right there. And, in fact, they had a party on Monday afternoon. I, I didn't go to their party. I actually spent time with my mom. I guess the last time I actually met my, you know, saw my parents were in Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And so I had a lot to catch up with my mom. So we stayed until, like, 1 o'clock in the morning just... <laughs> chatting my mom did yeah. she make you any food oh of course she did man she you didn't, did you didn't bring she, any of the food me. here did, yeah I you didn't bring any of it here that's okay <laughs> <laughs> no no but it was good it was good i mean before that i was actually in mexico we decided to just to to take a trip and um to go visit my mom my mom's my uh my wife's uh family father yeah and before that you know we're actually as, as we were doing that we actually did a training uh, a workshop in Michoacan, in, in Morelia, Michoacan, and all about, you know, the, the rag company products. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it was actually pretty interesting, pretty fun. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's going to be good. I'm excited because now you're back, you're here yeah. for a couple weeks, and then we're going to go to Mobile Tech. Indeed. So, any of you guys that are going to be at Mobile Tech, Juan and I, John and Josh are going to be the crew that are going to be at Mobile Tech this year. Uh, Dan and Anthony are going to be staying home but uh, they will be there uh, in spirit. And we're gonna be teaching, I've got two classes that I gotta do. Juan's probably gonna help me on one of them for fun, just cause. Yep. Uh, it's our microfiber, intro to microfiber class. And then uh, the second one is gonna be on social media. So if you're gonna be headed down to Mobile Tech during Education Day, make sure you uh, come and see us and see me in my classes and you can sit in and tell me hopefully how good I did or how bad I've done. Anyway, let's get into some questions. We've got Glossy Bear who said, uh, first from Reno, mm -hmm. always a pleasure when Glossy Bear pops into the stuffs here. And then RSX Freak saying, sup gents and a happy Friday Eve. My 49ers are in the playoffs and I'm in a great mood. LFG, that's uh, Levi, Frank? Frank Gates. I don't, I'm, my middle name starts with a J. Is so. it a J? So you got the one letter yeah. wrong. It's, got, okay. it's probably a typo. Yeah, most likely. So that's what he was like. LJG, yeah! That's, I think that's no. what it was. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then he asks, uh, Juan, tienes uno, un equipo favorito? Um, do you know what? I don't. I don't, I don't watch sports. Yeah. I, I don't, so, but yeah. I, as I said, tennis, what's your favorite tennis team? <laughs> yeah, that's what no, it's you know, Actually, when I watch sports, it's actually like uh, the World Cup. That's okay. the only time I actually watch sports. There you yeah. go. So, hey, hey you're, you're in good company. We don't really watch yeah, sports here. Um, it's just not really our thing. You it's know, not like, my thing. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're, not, we're not the most athletic. I like, I like baseball. You like, well, yeah, but yeah, I mean, you're not sitting there talking about baseball all day. No, I don't talk about because no. I don't have anybody to talk to about baseball. That's true. G. Davis and I can <laughs> sit and talk baseball. Uh, RSX Freak says, would you recommend KCX WF as a drying aid, wash and finish, just looking for something new to add lubricity during my drying stage without sealants? Yeah, that's a good I question. I think that'd work. So, so you can use WF or you can actually use QF. Yeah. QF doesn't contain any QF would probably silicone be better. or anything like that. And that would be uh, this guy right here. Then his other question, I'm sorry guys, RSX put in a bunch of questions here. He says, uh, what's the recommended dilution for KCX SF to use as a pre-wash on heavily soiled vehicles in a one liter foam cannon? I found 50 to one didn't do much as stated on the label. So, gosh, 50 to one, uh, I'd probably bump that up. Honestly, super foam you could play with a little bit, and honestly, just play with the dilutions based on what you need it to do, especially when it comes to super foam. Well, I mean, if I'm honest, I mean, whenever I'm foaming at super foam, you're 250. Oh man, 300. Yeah, no, I'm putting like 150 mLs in there, so in a thousand. Yeah, so 150, like 150 mLs to like 400 mLs of water. Okay, so that's actually far lower. You're down to like. Oh yeah. You're like well, it's just because I'm doing because I'm doing it in the foam cannon. But it says, what's the recommended dilution um, as a pre-wash, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm heck, man. I'm just I'm just going for it. Yeah. I just use I use it. I use the you soap don't. like I would normally use soap. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how I use it. I yeah. don't sit there and think, 
well, it might, you know, this might be too much or or, or whatnot. Yeah. I just go for it, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I just do it. You like to live. And it puts uh, on a show. You look and it smells like, amazing. Yeah. That's just me. Last uh, question here. Has anyone tried the new Turtle Wax products? Just tried their Hyper Foam Wheel Cleaner and Tire Prep, and it does a fantastic job on the tires. Reminds me of OPC, just foamier. Mm. That'd be Optimum. You ever smell this? What's OPC? No. Optimum Car Wash? OPC? Yeah. It smells Reminds good. OPC. Yeah, right? A little masculine, right? It has like a little bit of something to it. That's yeah. cool. No, no, the new turtle wax stuff's really good. Uh, and then RSX Reese said, just sorry, he's going into a meeting. Uh, wanted to get his questions out. Thank you, RSX Freak, for always tuning in. And then Dan Pfeiffer with a good afternoon and word up from Minnesota, USA. Happy Friday Eve, TRC crew. So now Dane not only collects cars, but houses as well. Yeah, he's a current collector <laughs> yeah. of two houses yeah. at he this point. He is a current home collector. And then uh, he says, we're in the heart of the indoor water winter rinseless washing season. And I still believe that O&R is the best rinseless product available for all you doubters. You simply haven't used it in the real world. Dan, you just wait for these upcoming videos that Jimmy is currently oh, editing yeah, right we, now because we got some winners. you're going to love it. I mean, it's going to make your mouth water when you see, oh, well, maybe not his mouth water, but it's going to yeah, be something like might. that. It'll make something it's going to be exciting. So something to look forward to. Um, but he also says that the claims of scratching or not believing it works uh, is simply false. It's used, uh, I've used it for four winters now uh, and love it. Would prefer to use uh, my pressure washer, uh, but not an option uh, with the negative temps. And so the thing is, is I've been saying this, I've been talking to a lot of people that are living on those negative mm -hmm. temperatures. Um, why? Why do you want to live there? Yeah. <laughs> why? Well, some people love, love the scenery, love the beauty. Love the during the no negative water. temps maybe or not during the negative temps. Maybe they enjoy winter sports and activities, and they choose an area that just happens to get cold. Yeah, but, but you know that when you get into the single digits, it just starts hurting. Not your ha your hands hurt. It doesn't really hurt My while hands, you're moving. Your yeah, hands always hurt. As long hurt. as I'm moving, I feel warm. I feel content. The cold only makes my hands hurt if I stick my hands into a bucket of ice or snow. Mm. That's when it hurts. Or perhaps so, like a, a large snowstorm or yeah. barometric pe pressure change. And is that because you attribute that to just your overall, I mean, your attire because yeah. you dress to be outside for multiple hours? I do, yeah. Gotcha. And, and that's why I don't ever feel the cold because I dress because I plan on being locked outside of something. Yeah. Like a car, a home, yeah. things of that. And maybe perhaps a business, yeah. you know. And I want to make sure that I can withstand the elements. Because when so. I'm dressing for speed and comfort and I'm outside in a t-shirt and basketball shorts, I think to myself, maybe I should have worn a long sleeve t-shirt. Correct. Yes. That, mm -hmm. that is probably, I think if you dressed a little warmer for the season, you'd probably enjoy it more. All right. Dino saying uh, RSS Freak with Super Foam, I would go 20 to 1 or 15 to 1 if you have a high GM, GPM pressure washer or something like that. Or an IK below 30 to 1, noted by KCX. Thank you, Dino. And then he says, Dino, uh, bump that up a little bit more. We need to sell yeah, more of this stuff, right? right? Keep it going. <laughs> Just keep, keep. He <laughs> says, Hello, TRC. Hope you have a nice week. Gonna miss this one in Austria. It's already 10 p.m. and I gotta get up at 4 a.m. for work, so crack some jokes so I can watch it later. Well, dude. Dino, yeah. thank you. And then tell Anthony to snap some more towels. That's the only thing we can snap for a while. Go, babies. <laughs> All right. Mike says, He'll be back. And then uh, Neil White says, can't wait to see if there's a theme to the live stream like last week's Shweddy Balls. No <laughs> real theme, just us three <laughs> hanging out for this one. That's Hans saying, so whoop, towel gods. What's going on ha there, Hans? Jorge Acosta saying, uh, what's up, homies? Saludos desde Puerto Rico. Saludos. And then our buddy Dirk Dew saying, wish all my friends a great morning in the U.S. Hey. Germany, Dirk, how are you, man? And uh, Big Gun, with all the new products hitting the market, which detailing product, in your honest opinion, still remains as a staple regardless of how long it's been on the market? Well, that's an easy one for me. That is, uh, sorry, I forgot to send that one. Oh, that's O&R. Yeah. <laughs> I would Honestly, have to agree with you on that, Levi. I mean, yeah. it's the one thing, if you were stranded on a deserted island with a car that you needed to detail and you only had 
One product. One product. It's a cleaner. It's a cleaner. It's, it's a soap. I mean, it's everything. Yeah, yeah O&R. Yeah, well, a bucket, yeah. of, bucket of salt water and yep. some O&R and you get that salt car water? detail. Yep. Well, I'm just saying, you got to have <laughs> access to water. There probably isn't a fresh water I just don't river. know the water softening capabilities with it being actual salt water. Well, I, I don't know. The I'm just saying. It actually clean the salt out of it. It might be able to clean the salt or encapsulate it. So <laughs> like, what, it like supercharges it. We're like, we're like, wait, so that was the answer this entire time. More salt. <laughs> More salt. Oh, no. Uh, Jeff C with a new picture. It's Thursday already. Apparently, I'm still in a time warp. He's in that new dad mode. Uh, but so glad to be back in Minnesota. What can you tell us about wash and finish? How could an O&R aficionado like me work it into my process? Well, Jeff, up where you're at, you could uh, utilize it as a rinseless wash or a waterless wash agent and use it as a pre-treater or pre-soak for O&R washes if you like. So yeah, that's true. what I would do, especially in the winter. Poets saying happy Friday Eve. Yeah. Uh, in the winter. In the winter. In the winter. Well, this is a wash and finish is a waterless wash. So you can actually use O&R inside your steamer. Yeah, but no, he's saying oh. this is KCX wash oh, okay, and finish okay. is what he's using. All right. He loves O&R. How would he incorporate wash and finish into an O&R wash? Oh, okay. So I'm saying use it as a pre-treater. Yep. And then uh, poets saying happy Friday Eve. Um, and then get that up there. Adam saying, what's up, TRC? Happy Friday Eve. What's up, Adam? And Grant saying, push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge, but don't look down. Just keep your head or you'll be finished. Levi is Homer Simpson in a lazy rider. Oh, man, I love that episode. Mm -hmm. Got the lazy voice. That's a great one. Um, thank you, Grant. Appreciate it. Viv Cloud, when will you do mystery boxes again? Ooh, maybe uh, we had a meeting about that today. And yeah, maybe sometime during March, right? If you're feeling lucky. Oh, I like that. Punk. Get ready. Something like that. What's up, guys? Life is awesome. Watching towel folding for two hours on a loop while sitting by the fireplace. YouTube Hall of Fame for that video. Well, thank you, Brianna. Cool. We Brianna really Cole, appreciate did it. You, Anthony, did you enjoy really the humor? About that. that was like one of my favorite videos I think we've ever done. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I watch it myself and I die laughing just because of. It was on the fly. There was literally no planning to that video yeah. at all whatsoever, and it just. It, I I've never laughed more, I, internally. Yeah. Like I was. I may have been a straight face on the outside. I it looked beautiful. I was dying inside. Yeah. Like, I literally could not. I, it, and so when people have pointed out us trying not to break character, yeah. it was excruciating. I was it in was pain because was I could not hold in my laughs. <laughs> but uh, it worked out. It was fun. I loved it, yeah. Um, Vivid Cloud asked that already. Dane Show says, holy magenta. Yeah, Dane, uh, those are the beautiful colors here at the Rag Company. Uh, Magenta. D show. Dane, are you, does it look a little green to you? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is perhaps some color correction is in order. Uh, and then uh, Han says, is Morgan there? Her water jug seems to be on the table still. That's, that's, that's my water jug, Hans, because I'm trying to drink uh, roughly a gallon a day now. Uh, wow. I'm calling it a water cleanse with the addition of eating food. So what was fun was we went, we did go on our first walk yesterday. We Juan did. actually went with us. We I did two and a half miles. And uh, it was delightful. It was cold, but it was good. It was a it nice was a little good. walk. It was good. You know, it felt good to kind of get out and do that. But Anthony's mm. problem that he ran into was... I've been drinking too much water. He drank too much water and we had an emergency. Yeah, I had to use... So I use the restroom. So I went to our local river. <laughs> Luckily, we were close to the river. Yeah. So I went over by the river, not into the river because I care about the fish, um, but it was off to the side. Actually, it was in somebody's backyard. He actually got um, to some so ice, I mean, some snow. Hopefully, that security yeah, camera no doesn't. Uh, there, so. well, what I was telling you, got the guys is like I kind of went into this creek area to where it was kind of a you know high, a recess next yeah, to the river. Yeah, a little, little gully. It was a gully, and I was trying to traverse down into that gully. I was stepping on a lot of these little like these. It was like wood, right? But it was dens. They were uh, beaver dens is what yeah. I was stepping my mm -hmm. foot into. So I think I may have disturbed 
the wildlife. Oh, that is unfortunate. Um, and for the call of nature, right? It was mm -hmm. literally call of the wild. That's yeah. what you like to wow. call it. And so, uh, but anyways, after I was finished, I crawled out onto a golf course. Yep. Um, and, and then made my way across through, the golf course back to where we were. Yeah. Made my way through a neighborhood, and we were yeah. back on the but road. But it was all right. Good news was we all did it. Yeah. That was the nicest thing was we all did our walk. Worked out really well. Um, and uh, I was bummed I missed, we were stuck in a meeting this morning, so we didn't get to go on the walk with the team. So it was a, it was a good time though. So Poets with Mill, can you give me an unorthodox purpose for the Drago towels? I already have too many towels, but I couldn't resist buying those. Well, that's the best part, Poets. So the Drago can be used for anything mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Because it's based on the 365, that 365 allows you to use it in different situations. You can be a coating removal towel, it could be an interior towel, it could be glass towels, it could be wheel towel, it could be whatever you want, it could be interior. I mean, it's all these different things, compound polish, everything. It's really perfect for all situations. So, not really an unorthodox purpose. That towel is best for all purposes. So. All purpose. And then uh, Alex, happy Friday Eve. Hey Juan, thought I'd check in quick. We'll need to check it out later. Have a great day. Thanks Alex, we appreciate it, man. Casey Truck Tucker says he's also an Idaho native as well. Hometown Twin Falls, Idaho, ah, near Burley. Very, very nice, nice Casey, we appreciate it. Casey. And uh, where, where are you at now, Casey? If you're an Idaho native, hometown was Twin Falls, so either that's where you live currently or where uh, you're from. Mario's, I'm trying to recover from COVID. Which Ooh. wax, sealant, graphene, ceramic hybrid product can I drink to feel and get better? Probably not all of those. I don't think that would be good. Yeah, um, it may have mixed them. Yeah, I'm and then kidding. it says, much love from Greece. Thank you, Mario's. We appreciate it. Hope you feel better. Yeah, good luck, good man. Better. Cabe saying, hey gang, I prefer using microfiber towels to wash. I find them easier to maneuver around the car, and I'm looking at the Pluffle Platinum for this purpose. Or would you recommend good something job. else as a wash towel, like to, instead yeah. of a wash mitt? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. it's a great one. Pluffle would be great. I mean, yeah. even an Eagle 500 would be Eagle great. You know, a whole lot of subs. Well. Um, there's a lot of different options there. But yeah, I think the Pluffle is great. I think the Pluffle is a great towel even when, when wet. Yeah. No, I think that's a, that's a great one too. And then uh, Han says, maybe you could wash yourself. Okay, that's oh. Hans. Poet says, oh, uh, uh. need an XL version then, says Poets. Uh, and then, oh, Billy, get rid of the mask. They don't work. Thank you, Billy. We appreciate your <laughs> thoughts and prayers on that one. Uh, Wolfgang, uber rinseless wash for wind for me. There you go. The Lab Mexico Saludos from Mexico. What's going on, man? Oh, the Lab Mexico. Hey. Saludos, And uh, let's see where we at here. It's a cool logo, man. It is. You see the logo? That's dope, yeah. man. That's sick. Dope. Very rare. So uh, the detail shop that he has. <coughs> yeah. Pretty good one. It's Very nice. Dope. Is dude. it nice? It's gorgeous. Did I get it? All right. Aaron's saying Optimum Car Wax versus OptiSeal. Since the Optimum Car Wax has UV protection, why doesn't OptiSeal have it? Well, OptiSeal also does have some UV protection, just not the same UV Patent, protection yeah. that the Car Wax has. The Car Wax can actually replace UV inhibitors that the clear coat naturally comes with or normally has. So that's why it's a difference in uh, that. So, all right, these guys are going faster than I can pull them up here. All right, so uh, Ben Rios, hey fellas. If I'm not mistaken, you guys have a cat compressor for the shop. If I'm right, I was wondering if you've noticed pressure drop from the regulator gauge when pulling the trigger on a blowgun. So cat compressor is a California Air Tools. Uh, yes, uh, wonder if you notice a pressure drop from the regulator gauge when pulling uh, the trigger on a blowgun. Haven't looked at the pressure regulator gauge, so yeah. I wouldn't be able to answer that for you. I don't have any, the only gauge I have is on our uh, uh, oil, uh, and grease trap uh, on that drop. So that's the Have only. Have we cleaned only out the air compressor? Huh? 
Have we cleaned out that air compressor? We haven't. We should probably, uh, oh, we should uh, do that. clean that <laughs> out, drain it. We should probably drain it, yeah. Yeah, we probably need to do that. Yikes. Sometimes you just forget, right? Time flies and you're Well, fun. we don't ever run it for very long. That's true. We don't you keep know? it pressurized It only either. runs for about an hour and then we shut it off. Well, Levi leaves it pressurized at his house 24-7, yeah, right? And I, and I drain it yeah. twice some every two months. Well, yeah. One yeah. o'clock in the morning, you could be sleeping sound asleep, and bam, it kicks on. It does. And, you, and you and you go, oh, that's just the compressor. Yeah, just warming up a little yeah, more. Yeah, just, just warming a little, up. A little bit of a pressure drop in my sister tanks. All right, Spencer. Hey guys, so I have a detail shop here in South Dakota. We do about four to five cars a day on a busy one. Nice. Where do you guys draw the line of using PS Express interior cleaner on the interior compared to an APC? Um. So Spencer, I like using Express on almost on everything. I never use an APC anymore on interiors. Um, I can't say I, I will draw the line. I mean, it's just the preparation first, cleaning, you know, the surface, dust it all out, and just concentrate on the less the surface stuff, and then you should go, go from there. Yeah, it really just depends on what you need to do more of. If you mm -hmm. need to really deep clean that, then yeah, it's nice to have an APC available or something like that, but 90% of the time it's usually just straight express can help mm -hmm. and you can dilute express up to three to one mm -hmm. uh, yes. and still get some great. Uh, the other thing is look at what tools you're using. Indeed, what yes. brushes, what scrub mitts, what are you using? You know, Drills. a lot of detailers mm -hmm. use those cheap, uh, they call them like a dairy brush where it's that remember the the like natural finish with the yellow bristles, mm -hmm. those don't really do a great job of scrubbing interior yeah. panels. So something like our VLB, uh, or like the Express Scrub Mitt, or even the you know Auto Fibers got some scrubbers. Mm -hmm. Those do a much more efficient job of scrubbing the surface, and so you can get away with a lot. Even you can use O and R as a interior yep. cleaner and get some stuff out with the right tool. Mm -hmm. So think about what tools you're using, especially if that's something where you're like, man, it's too expensive, or I use mm -hmm. APC because I can dilute it 30 to 1 rather than 3 to 1 in the, with PNS or something, with the Express Cleaner or something. So that's kind of where you need to figure out, because if you, can get, if you can get it with 3 to 1 and you enjoy using Express, but the tool that you're using can just scrub that much more and clean, deep clean that much better, then that, that's where you really need to you go know, to. You know, I've been using... Express cleaner, you know, for about probably uh, about three months now. I mean, in our shop, and we detail two vehicles a day. So and we've been doing pretty good with it. I mean, it's been been working pretty good. So I mean, we haven't we haven't had a chance to replace or have a stain that we can't remove or or something that we can you just just that product I mean, so I think it's just like he said it's just the tools that you need or maybe like scrub mints and stuff like that so change the change the tools yeah that's really Try something else yeah and then uh, RSX freak says OPC optimum power clean oh my gosh I, yeah I feel <laughs> stupid now um, <laughs> what were you calling it earlier? I think it was like optimum, it optimum car wash. Which one is what's OPC? Optimum protect and yeah. clean. Yeah, protect and clean. No. Honestly, I wasn't even paying. I think I was zoning out at yeah. the time I was reading that, so I didn't even. So he's saying the new Turtle Wax wheel and tire cleaner is mm -hmm. reminds him of Power Clean. Oh, is what he's saying. So mm. the new Turtle Wax reminds mm. him of yeah, Optimum weird. Power Clean. So strange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, weird that the reminds <laughs> But he did you say that. the meeting got canceled, so welcome, RSX Freak. Little homie. Hey guys, my brother gave me a wonderful gift for Christmas CSL and XO. After looking at the two bottles, CSL has small particles floating around. Is that normal? That's normal. It should be normal. Yeah. Yeah. Just shake it. Yeah, yep. no, that, that happens with CSL. You know, yeah. you've been using it like that for a long time, no <laughs> issues. We have another question here from our good friend Spencer. Spencer says for us if the vehicle is 10 years or older we do apc green star at 15 to 1 or mcguire's d101 at 10 to 1 or if it's very very trashed like a farm truck that's all it says so i would oh, say so he's, so he's just oh, saying yeah, that's okay. where he wants to drive the line in wrong. south dakota so yeah hmm. honestly if it's a dirty truck and you want to use it and it works better for you just yeah, do that. If it's on an, if I, think, I was thinking like all things being equal, if we were working on like, you know, one of our personal cars, 
like I wouldn't do an APC on it because I know how clean it is. I would never do an APC on any of my cars. They don't need it. Right. But that's right. what I'm saying. So Actually, except for my wife's Forerunner. But that's what I'm I saying. I haven't washed it in two and a half months. But I would probably not use an APC on something like that. I'd still probably use Express Interior Cleaner mm -hmm. and not and not have any issues because yeah. I've got the right tools. That's so true. So you could try that. Uh, now, I like on very trashed farm trucks with a lot of mud and dirt and debris, I actually use O&R because it cleans much better. It encapsulates all that dirt and mud, and you so I'm not and you take pushing a, you mud take around. I'm actually soaked in pulling. O&R. Yeah. And you go in there with that towel, yep. and you wipe it up. You just yep. have to spend more time in the vacuuming. Yeah, and, exactly. And the dry cleaning before Moving you can Moving on put it in to our next question, we have our next friend here. Our Her. sex freak says, thanks, fellas. We'll try 150 mil next time. So it seems like a lot, right? But at the same time, though, Gabriel, if he's talking about spraying SF on the, on the Civic, right? Yeah. Civic's coding in XO doesn't really need a whole lot of right. crazy power. I mean, Exo will handle will handle it. It's just, you know, are you looking, are you, I mean, I guess what I'm wondering is that, you know, are you looking to not agitate or are you looking to agitate? Because if you're not looking to agitate, then, you know, you're, 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 you're gonna have to spray some pretty yeah. serious stuff on there, right? But I don't see why you wouldn't agitate because Exo is so easy to clean up. I mean, a couple of wipes here and there, they'll, mm -hmm. right, done. Richard, Richard L. L. Want to know if KCX Wash and Finish, which is their waterless wash, also a polymer-based product? So I believe so. Um, I don't I think we have any right here. I, I had it behind be me at one there, point. Um, so Wash and Finish, from what I can recall, it doesn't, um, in all of our times of using it, it doesn't feel like a soap. It feels like it is a polymer-based product that has more of an emphasis on lubricity mm -hmm. rather than like self-cleaning power, right? So like um, when it comes to certain like rinseless or waterless washes, you'll notice it right when it hits the surface, right? I would say that wash and finish doesn't so much offer encapsulating, like, like the ability to encapsulate a lot, because when it sits on the surface, it sits rather flat, just the way you, how do I say it? When you look at it, you can notice it, it just sticks, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. stick and lift, it kind of sticks and lands, and when you wipe it, it's smooth. So, um, I don't know how to describe it. I would say use it. We like using it cut one-to-one -one with distilled water just yeah. because we feel like we got more bang for our buck. Um, it does have quite a bit of body to it, meaning yeah, that it's a lot thicker. Um, it is a thick product, and I think that that has to do with why it kind of just sticks to a surface. Um, but what's great for wash and finish is probably just using it as a pre-treater on uh, lowers, on cars. So for example, how we would use OptiClean as a pre-treatment for the lowers mm -hmm. to help with a little bit of cleaning power and more lubrication would be the same way we'd probably use wash and finish on a normal wash procedure outside of using it as a full waterless wash. Yeah. No, I agree. Are you with me on That's that? That's how I yeah, do I it. I think so. Uh, Dabbler. Hey fam, what's the lowest PPM to prevent water spots? The lowest PPM to prevent well, that's water zero. spots. Well, zero is ideal. Yeah, yeah but you know, so we I, were like, able to I, get like up to, I like to tote the line we there. We got up to what, almost 150, 200 so parts 100, per million, and we weren't like, having any issues. I want to say it was like 125 or 150, yeah. but we didn't have any issues. But I would say like like to where there would be no worry for me. Let's say you're at your I, house and you test your water right off the bat, out of the tap, and it's yeah. 100 or 125, would you be worried? Uh, I wouldn't be worried, I'm still gonna use it, but I would have it in mind that I'm probably gonna order another thing of resin, or like, exchange out my resin, because it's like 100 No, I'm bucks. saying like, just water straight out of the tap, not Should going be, through oh, your CR Oh, water straight out of the tap and it was 100 PPM? Yeah. I'd be dancing. Yeah, you would be like. I'd be ecstatic, I'd yeah. be like, wait, this came out of my tap and it's only 100 PPM? I'd be freaking nice. out. <laughs> right? I pull out of my tap and it's 250 to 300. And I go, crap, that sucks, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I guess the, where ideally, if my, if my parts per million were between zero and 100 for just you're anything, you're, you're in good shape. You're golden. Yeah. But I think above, above 100, you'll probably start getting a little bit of mineral deposit built. I mean, maybe a little bit. Well, that's but maybe when I'd add a little O and R. It's like about two to three. Yeah, but it's de it, de it depends though, right? Because like, I feel like any spotting that you get probably under a hundred, like a quick detailer can take, like a, like, yeah. a, like a normal quick detailer could probably yeah. handle most of that stuff. Or just like a wax or something easy. But the second you get over a hundred, 
I think that's when you're using something like Coach Kemi FSE. Mm -hmm. The second you get over 200 is you're using something like G-Technics W9. And the second you get to that harsh 300 to 500 ppm, you're just busting out compound. Yeah. But nothing can prevent water spotting. Even the, the, yeah, the cleanest water, if you wash the vehicle outside, it doesn't have no minerals, but the dust has minerals. Yeah. So by the time the, the, the vehicle gets and dust in there and it's water in there, it's going to bake it and it's going to create hard water spots. So nothing prevents hard water spot. There you go. Daytona Wallace, can you guys recommend a good way to figure out how to price services for a new detailing business? So, Daytona, this is a lot based on, uh, I would do some research. I would call some local shops in your area and ask around. Find out what they're charging, find out what their services are. Uh, call the dealerships that are providing detailing services too. You know, some of the bigger companies, you know, and just get a gauge. If a dealership is $500 for a minimum, you know, basically an interior detail on a one-step, and you call the detail shops surrounding the area and you're asking for an interior detail with shampooing and all that or extraction and a one-step polish and sealant and everybody there's about 300 bucks then you kind of know where to that you could get in at that 300 because the dealer's always going to add that markup on their shop well, if you call around and everybody's like oh we don't even we don't even touch a car for 500 bucks like, well, then you know, okay, I can go up a little bit, or maybe I can be just a little under, or I can be a little over. Mm -hmm. It really just depends on your market, you know. And it's, here in Boise, is your, is your area. for a long time, I couldn't ever ask for over $500 to detail a car. I just wasn't going to be, no one was going to call me for it. Once I opened my shop, I was able to hit that, get closer to that mark, and get closer, and that became a goal. And every year, I would raise my prices every year I would bring uh, a bit of that up and so now it's that's I, I could see a $300 start a $500 kind of mid-grade and uh, you know and then go up from there for ceramics and coatings and polish and paint correction all that stuff so I think reality you need to call around look and see what some of them are and then also figure out what your detail business is are you solely washing some light detailing but you're doing primarily maintenance washes, or are you doing full correction and coatings? Like Juan's shop, like yeah. are you mobile? Are you in a shop? That also has limitations in what you can charge. One thing that I also recommend to a lot of, or a lot of people that actually ask me the same question is like, okay, every area is different. So what you need to do, if you don't wanna ask the, de the other detailers, just go around shops and ask them how much they charge Per hour, like a mechanic shop, how much they charge per hour? Yeah, and base yourself through, um, through that. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's everybody's gonna have a different prices now. If you if you start asking other detailers, they just like a, you know, like quick detailer that just charge fifty dollars, and you're not gonna charge forty dollars because there's no money in it. So I mean, yeah. it's just. You have to understand if you're going to be doing mobile. I mean, charge accordingly to what makes what makes sense to you. Because if you just base your prices based on, on somebody else's and expenses, you don't know what their expenses are. You, you only know what your expenses are. So just base it on, on hourly rate, on mechanical, uh, body shop. I mean, just what services, different services. You yeah. Know, what they charge average in your area. True, true. Yep. There you go. Graham, happy Friday Eve, TRC crew. Hello, Graham. Normal tag doesn't work without Dane. Do you use rags to riches with a laundry liquid or does it replace it? Asking for a friend who has a deer hound. Uh, so thank you, Graham. I know it's not the same without Dane here. We, uh, no we, don't, we, uh, we miss him when he's not well, here too. I'm glad he, I hope he sees that, right? I hope he sees that. I'll make him feel good. He can feel yeah, good. Make, so, yeah. uh, so do you use rags to riches with a laundry liquid or does it replace it? No, it actually replaces it. You use rags to riches instead of a laundry detergent. So um, that's it. Very simple, very easy. Mina. Got the Yeti bucket, filled it with hot water and mm. O&R. So nice on a 35 degree oh, day. Man, I know, man. That's, 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 that's it. That's, that's it. the stuff right yeah. there. <laughs> Brianicle says he loved the humor and the sexy talking. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. so I thought so. Nate Marcy, 
could you guys touch up on the topics of acids versus alkaline soap? With CarPro Descale release, I'm curious which and when to use acidic versus alkaline soap. So yeah. CarPro Descale is quite possibly very much an acid because it's a descaler. Acids are used to break down minerals, break down deposits, break down all that kind of stuff. So here we go. You ready? Let's see if I can do this. All right. So your pH scale, right, goes from 1 to 14. Your pH neutral is right in the middle, 7. seven. So anything from 7 and up is alkali. Anything from 7 and down is acidic. So that's where it kind of uh, differentiates. So either one can uh, clean, but it's the difference in the cleaning and the level of, of what it can and can't do. So a product like Power Clean, Optimum Power Clean, or Breakbuster is a higher alkaline product. It's designed to break down and clean. It can clean rubber really well. It can clean certain things really well. But it can't really control minerals. It can't really break down those minerals, which is when acids come in. So that's where most of your water remo spot removers and things like that come in are your acids. And they are designed to clean and clear all that. So like a product like our old Clean Wheels. What was yep. Clean Wheels? That was a three, two and a half, three. Like a three, yeah. Even mm -hmm. though it was a non-acid wheel cleaner, it had an acid replacement technology, which made it act similar to an acid. So that's kind of where it works. So sometimes when you see something that maybe, we have this thing here in Idaho called potato water. Mm. Yep. It's basically well water, yeah. full of minerals, and you see it in the rural com uh, counties. There'll be a customer that comes in, and they'll have a very nice car, and they're like, oh, well, we have a water truck that we pump from the well, and it sprays the fields, or it takes water over to a certain thing, and we do that. Or I parked my car next to the sprinklers that was, that was doing the potato field, and it hit my car, and I just left it. Okay. It is a scum that is on the entire car that does not come off because it's so heavy in minerals. And so in those instances, I'm, I've used straight acids to just break all that. And then mm -hmm. you have to compound and polish a lot of that to get the rest of the raining stuff out or sand some of that stuff. Now, a, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, fleet vehicles, like truck, truck vehicles, you know, like uh, the transport, mm -hmm. to wash them, you have to do an acid, an acid um, soap wash first and then they neutralize it again with the alkaline. Yeah, alkaline you gotta go the opposite soap, side. So, so first acid soap, then the alkaline soap and pump. And get it back to a pH neutral. It reactivates it and cleans it a little bit faster. And, and yeah, better. the other thing is like something on, uh, the reason we always talk about a pH neutral product for interiors is the same, same thing. Higher alkaline cleaning detergent on the interior is gonna strip some of the paint, strip some of the writings, clean some of the, it's, it's just too heavy of a cleaner. And it can leave a white mm -hmm. soapy film that, that in carpets and seats, you see that in a lot of kind of beginner detailers, they'll use an APC as a carpet cleaner and they don't actively remove all of it or neutralize it. Neutralize it. Mm -hmm. And so it leaves a crusty film that settles in the carpets. So um, Learning that pH scale and learning what, what goes on, that, that really does make a big, big difference, especially in the longevity of the product, yeah. um, of the vehicle that's being used on. So it is something to think about, and it's very simple, very easy to learn. Um, I've already started teaching my kids on the pH scale, so. Good. All right. Um, where are we at here? Nope, All right, dabbler. Oh, so what's your preferred pad for PNS Clarity Cream? I really like the uh, uh, maroon Euro uh, foam yeah. buff and shine pad for that. That's one of my favorites yeah. for that. The other one is the, um, I like the, the Rupes Blue Coarse Wool. Yeah. For Rupes that. Blue is good. For, for Clarity Cream on glass. Yeah, mm -hmm. agree? I think I would agree on that, yeah. So Sid really likes the blueberry pad. She does. I I like something that's going to be able to get into the corners of a window, especially if I'm going for it. 
so like that's where I'm actually a big fan of the blue coarse wool and also just the yellow foam, mm -hmm. yellow, the yellow wool for yeah. Rupes, mm -hmm. because I feel like the fibers can like, you know, get, I mean? into the they get into the, yeah. the cracks. And then Peter saying, can you put a spray nozzle on Top Star or are there solids that won't pass through that would affect the outcome? You can absolutely put a sprayer you can, on Top Star. Absolutely, yeah. So um, I would just recommend something that, uh, like the Kenya sprayer will mm -hmm. work, but when I'm spraying Top Star, I'm not spraying it on the finest mist setting. It just doesn't work great. I make it towards shooting out a decent amount of yeah. product. I don't know how to describe it's it. It's not misting it. That's good though. Yeah. Spray it. You can also take it, put it in a bottle, mix it 50-50 with distilled water and clean that way. Use it, use it that way if you want to, yeah. you know, it can be diluted one to one. Uh, Richard L. has a question for Juan. What's Juan's detailing background? Wow. <laughs> Tell him, Juan. <laughs> well, um, I started working, or I, I put my hands in the detailing with, uh, I work with Rennie Doyle back in 2000 and we were we were up in Sun Valley doing like a, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. Good of Willis, you know their vehicles and you did a lot of the Arnold, uh, Arnold all the celebrities yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger airplane you know me that's when I and he introduced me to the steam cleaning so I've been doing steam cleaning since 2000 so so I guess I'm one of the ones that actually started doing steaming back in the day. Um, to the to the force rotation. Mm -hmm. So, but then I went back to um, to sales because I was actually a car, a car salesman. And then in 2012, in 2012, um, I decided to finally open up my my business in September, <laughs> September 11, 2012. Mm -hmm. Um, and from there on, we just been rocking it. Yeah. So yeah, we've been going to, I wanted to be like, I wanted to be different. I wanted to be better in my area. I wanted to be, actually I really wanted to charge more money than anybody else. Yeah. So I did what, what the customer, what, what the guy actually asked, how do I price myself? So I actually started looking at the prices of everybody else. And I focus my prices like say for example everybody was charging like like uh, 150 for a full detail. I decided to charge 250 dollars, but then I gave a promotion and charge 150 dollars. So my prices were the same as everybody else, but it, my price was actually a promotional price. Mm -hmm. And and at the end of the year, I guess the repeat customers are like, hey, you know. I want to get a detail and it's like, oh, now it's going to be 250. So why, why wouldn't it went up? Well, it never went up. It actually was a promotional. It was, price. A, it was a promotional prize that we had before. So now it's um, to introduce Almost our like service. Coupon, so now yeah. still you're going to place in you know, a regular price. So it wasn't difficult. So it's, I knew how to sell. So I did a lot of use. Uh, I used a lot of sales tactic that I used when I was selling cars. So that was a great, great thing. I think you know a lot of detailers. They concentrate on knowing how to detail and not really how to sell. Yeah, how to sell your service and how to present yourself. But yeah, that's my background, salesman, and and my detailing is mm, since 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Since mm, 2000. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Casey Tucker says he's living in Bend, Oregon now. Oh, very awesome. beautiful. I yeah. love Bend. Bend's so a great a place. Great place to stop at, right? Yeah. Also a big fan of Sisters, Oregon. Mm -hmm. You ever been through Sisters? I have been through Sisters. And then Decon saying, oh, what's up guys? Happy Friday Eve. And uh, Mr. Biohazard X12. What do you apply first, second, and third when using a sealant, a wax, or a glaze? All right, so this is <coughs> an old school question right here, Mr. Biohazard. You're gonna put the glaze on first. Mm. The glaze is gonna hide and fill all those scratches, it's gonna, it's gonna hide everything. Then, you're gonna put the sealant on. Mm -hmm. Sealant is like the, uh, it's like the hoodie, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, like the, it's like the hoodie that you're gonna wear to protect you from the cold. You've gotten the Botox, That's now you right. need a clear got the, coat, right? Got the Botox, <laughs> put the clear coat over that, and then the wax is gonna the go wax. next. Makeup. The wax is the, uh, 
the little bit of hydrophobics that you're adding to yeah. your clear, your clear jacket. coat jacket. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's got a water it's, repellent it's, for well, the jacket. Well, you spill a hairspray on there, right? Just yep. going to keep it going. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stiffen it up. So that's kind of how it works. Glaze goes on first on the paint because it's kind of your, your cleaner protector kind of thing. Then sealant goes on next as your strongest level of protection. And then wax goes on next as your sacrificial layer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how it works out. Mm -hmm. The stronger one first, the less stronger. Yeah, but the glaze isn't stronger than well, the sealant, yeah, just so you know that. I was talking yeah. about the sealer and the wax. Yes. Yeah. On the protection side. Aaron's, will the Gary Dean method work in a regular car wash soap? Yeah. Yeah, you could try it. It's just multiple towels. That's the only, that's mm -hmm. the difference in the yeah. method. He's always just totally. grabbing a different one. If you want to do six or eight wash mitts in a soapy bucket, you can do that too, man. And then uh, JB, what's up, fellas? I received an IK Foam Pro 2 for my birthday last week. What dilution ratios do you guys recommend for Brake Buster and KCX GS? Thanks for all your detail and wisdom. Foam Pro 2 for my birthday, what dilution ratios? Um, so Brake Buster, 10 to 1 um, all day long. And then KCX uh, uh, Green Star, about 20 to 1 is what I'd recommend. So you're, yeah, you're not doing a whole lot inside there. The 20 to 1, I feel like foam still, it's fantastic foam. Um, and you get a lot of bang for your buck with it being foamed. Um, but I mean, it can, it can be foamed down to 10 to 1. But general rule, brake buster, 10 to 1. Almost everything 10 to 1 in that sprayer. But GS, uh, Green Star is pretty, pretty strong. So to go 20 to 1. One thing that I do recommend, if you're going to be, since you probably don't have, not familiar with that, the pump and you know you when you use it make sure you you drain the air and remove it remove all the chemical put water and clean the sprayer mm -hmm. so that way it's, it'll, it'll last you a lot longer yeah and if it's going to become dedicated for one product you just have to let the air out yeah that's all richard l saying i just purchased optimum's fabric cleaner otherwise known as magic in a bottle it is magic in a bottle. works wonders on the headliner and i tried it on the carpet and it worked great but there was a lot of sand left in it, even after extraction. Is this common? I also vacuumed prior. Yes, Richard, you need to make sure you do a final vac also, but that's, that's just the amount of sand. That has nothing to do with Optimum's fabric cleaner getting, getting yeah. that sand out for you. Yeah. Uh, that is solely vacuum in yourself and a brush and how much sand that person put into that carpet previous. So, while I... Corey B, while I don't speak Spanish, seeing videos and bilingual brings me joy. <laughs> Cheers to more inclusivity. Hope you all keep doing them. Thank you, Corey. We appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go sign up, uh, subscribe to the Rag Company Spanish Espanol. channel. Espanol. So that one's all Juan there. And then uh, Getty, Jenny Costello. Big thanks to Juan for suggesting that. NA NEX PTG paint gauge about a month ago. It's an awesome tool. Juan. Thanks, oh, Juan. It's a great one. Yeah. And then uh, Richard said, missed mine from before. Can you recommend a slick and durable sealant? Well, I love bead maker. Honestly, it's so easy. People go, oh man, it doesn't last long enough. No. Well, I like it because I can put it on every week if I want to. So if it's a personal car, I just use Beadmaker. I don't even worry about it anymore. I recommended that on a on a Facebook page, and I accidentally misspelled it. <laughs> I put Beatmaker. Beatmaker. <laughs> making fun of me. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. It's the a other great thing one. is CTV3. <laughs> CTV3 is a great one. Is a great one. Like CTV3. Lasts a long time. OptiSeal. So too. Uh, is amazing too. Um, Hyperseal. OptiCoat Hyperseal. Probably yeah. the goat of all of these slick, durable sealants. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Bill Pearson. Hello, my dudes from warm and, warm and sunny SoCal. I don't Almost. think I have a question for you guys today. <laughs> so I'll just sit back and enjoy, and I'll take, my, take your answer off air. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Uh, Detail Lab Pros, what's the best towel to remove compound? I can't find one that cleans up. 365s, if you haven't tried them yet, the Edgeless 365. <laughs> that's probably one of my favorites for that. Next nice. to that would be the Creature 420s. Mm -hmm. um, those always have the best, they're like the best combination. Yeah. And then uh, they can like bite, the but they can be a little just bluffer. Boom. So, just yeah. the perfect one, too, for compound. Demo says, I hope you all enjoyed the king cake yesterday. Sorry that it has to arrive after you all start the diet. 
but I have a feeling no one is too upset about it. We haven't seen it yet. Are you kidding me? It got delivered? So Did it get delivered? Is there tracking? It's probably upstairs. It's probably in the other building. No so, way. So, thank you, Dale. Thank you. Thank can you. Thank uh, you for our uh, traditional king cake delivered to us. Can we get a uh, Gabe or a, is there yeah, anybody here that can go, go and potentially go check and see if that? our king cake arrived? Glenn can go and get the king cake. Did our yeah. king cake yeah, arrive? That'd be great. All right. <laughs> and then uh, uh, one here, Richard saying, uh, I agree with Juan. I understand what you're comfortable with earning per hour. There we go. And Nick Sessman says, that is a massive Pepsi, Levi. I've had bigger. <laughs> hmm. RSX freak, not necessarily needed to completely clean without scrubbing. Just need to remove most of the thick grime on the panels. I normally use GS 10 to 1 in an IK Multi with great results. Thanks. I think that would have, yeah. I think GS it cleans pretty well. Yeah. Clean pretty dang well. Mm -hmm. Mountain Town, when will the KCL, KCX 5 liter taps be back in stock? I heard they were being shipped ASAP. I am in great need. Did we sell out of those? I think we sold out Dang of them. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, well, we're working on it. Yep. And then uh, Aaron says, Dane is probably watching this live stream. I'm sure he's watching from his phone slash computer. In his I, massage chair, hopefully. He's probably sitting yeah. in the massage. I was worried because he was going to be at his house. He said he was going to, I said, you probably don't even have, he probably doesn't have an internet yeah. yet. And oh, he'll be I phone. didn't hear what he said. But point is, he's probably kicking back on his phone. Mm-hmm. Massage chair going, Living the good just life. enjoying the view. Mm. <laughs> well, it is the basement oh, part, yeah. but I think there's oh, yeah. still a bit of a view out of there. <laughs> so, very nice. And then, uh, Mitchell Long, is there a difference between pH balanced and pH neutral? Uh, a pH balanced usually means like you've balanced out the pH, which you means from it's... acid to alkaline. Yeah. So neutral it. means it's in the middle. So, technically, yes, mm, yeah, they're well, the depends, same. It depends on how it's worded. I can, but, honestly, yeah. it can be... Like, it, if, if you want to mark it as being pH balanced, technically it's balanced between the two well, it, as yeah. in that term. Meaning, right? like, yeah, if something was acidic and, yeah, you're, you're and you've neutralized it with an alkaline, it. you've now balanced it. I know, but some people say we still have pH balanced soap. And they use it like that, so that yeah. would mean it would be it would be a well, neutral. Yeah. It's a neutral. Yeah. So, it is, yeah, like it's, pH well, it's, balance, yeah. it's all worded. Yeah. Like, but also the thing, too, is pH balanced and pH neutral. I mean, that's really anything within that seven range or even close to like, I would say really anything from like 6.5 up to probably like eight. Most mm -hmm. people can claim that that's pH balance. I mean. Yeah, that technically is. So. so. Antoine Armstrong. Hello from Cleveland, Ohio. Awesome channel. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. And then uh, Richard L says, I can't wait for Juan's steaming tips. Mm. <laughs> Juan's steamy tips. One. It's a good one. <laughs> Lono on point detailing. Hey gang, I saw a Facebook post about an injury or overexertion here and there. Would you guys be interested in inviting me over for a live video of exercise and mobility de demo? I'm over in Mountain Home. Oh. Hell yeah, dude, come on over. Love to have you do doing something like, like that. Like, like do some stretches. Stretching. Yeah, heck yeah. Doing some stretches. All about it, dude. Uh, yeah, that so yesterday know. I made a post, or I, well, I was on a podcast. I was on the Reflection Artist podcast, mm -hmm. and one of the questions at the end was just, "What would you recommend for detailers?" It's a piece of advice, and I said, "You are your greatest tool. You are. You take care of yourself. You got to be able to handle yourself. You got to handle mm -hmm. yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, and be able to continue working. Because if you can't keep working," You're never going to be able to get it done. Oh, there it is! is. Wow. <laughs> the king cake has arrived. Yeah, finally! Oh, yeah, oh is buddy. it still cold? Cool. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, it's it hasn't cold. even been opened yet either. Mm -hmm. I've got a Normally knife. Normally, what happens is <laughs> are these packages get delivered, and then the guy is across the street. They open it and they say, "Hey, we, we found this cake here. You take uh, a couple bites that? out of it." Did yeah. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> this is. Oh, oh my man! Oh my God! But turn this around, Anthony, so for you can to I pull do some a of quick that. Do a little unboxing, unboxing here. In there. Um, so this is probably the best thing I've ever seen in my life this is here. Great. Uh, so first off, we've got some community coffee, right? Very nice. Uh -huh. Delicious, delicious, right? This is amazing yeah. right here. 
Beignet mix. Oh, oh <laughs> we're going to have to make some of those. Beignet mix, right? But there's not From just... Cafe du Monde. Yeah, well, that's what, that's what I said. What I said, du Monde? Yeah, I don't know. I just was saying So, that. three boxes. <laughs> <Yeah>. Of beignet mix. <laughs> of beignet mix, wow. which is absolutely extraordinary. Wow. Like, Thank you, Daniel. Right? That is but amazing. But here's the thing. <laughs> These are probably uh, oh, meant right. for... Oh, for you? For for us and with Dane, but you know what? We got we're all putting them on. Nobody here. doesn't break it here. Hold on. Take get mine on here if I can I got oh! mine already. <laughs> it snapped. Oh, mine fit perfectly over mine my glove. Yeah, yeah we got ours on here. So huh? So you guys are awesome. And then that? look at <laughs> we have some cups. Hey, hey, all right. Hold on. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> Put some of the little Pepsi inside Got there, right? Got our Mardi Gras And then, uh, last yeah. but not least, oh, this is amazing. Uh oh. Look at this. This is oh, a legit. That's what that's this it. is a legit mask. This is what he will wear when he's uh, sitting in his massage <laughs> chair. Ooh, I didn't wash those cups. That's all right. It's a good still. Here we go. One, some beads. All right. <laughs> oh, so, these are high quality oh, beads. Oh man, my God. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying, Glenn. Okay. There's, There's two. a second box. It's over there. Oh, oh no we gotta way. bring that over. That's the king cake. We gotta Hold have on. that. We'll have that for the second part here. This is amazing. Thank you so this much. Is, this, this is the is best, great. man. Thank you, Daniel. Wow. Okay. This some, beignet mix got some is coins, uh, got some coffee, the beignets. Very exciting. This my is mouth is watering. Yeah. Right? Thinking of those beignets. So March first. It's going to be, uh, you know, we got it going on for that. So very excited to have our, uh, have our Mardi Gras king cake Hello. for Fat <laughs> Tuesday. So, all right, Gavin Hoodick recommended wax for outside of Florida. Uh, honestly, Kevin, just grab a sealant. Grab any of the KCX, G-Technic. Mm -hmm. Any of, the, of our students, the CTV3 from G Technic is amazing. Uh, any of the KCX SO2. If you're looking for a wax, though, and you're dedicated for a wax, we've got the uh, KCX hand wax. Uh, that's a really nice wax. Very nice, very durable, very simple, easy to use. So, uh, um, so uh, really quick. Yeah. We have to break. To it's a three o'clock. It's three o'clock. We have to break to a quick break. So uh, this is fun, right? So we will uh, we will come back hopefully stay with a little tuned. bit of some king cake that you guys will see here on camera. Uh, so uh, stay tuned and enjoy the commercial break. Hey guys, it's Anthony with the Rag Company, and do you know what's better than Q and A Thursday? Yes, that's right. It's Wash Wednesday. Not just because I host it, but because it is a genuinely entertaining and hopefully informative series where we take cool cars, cool owners, and wash in an impromptu interview setting. So make sure to check out Wash Wednesdays right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. See some cool cars, see some cool people, and maybe learn a thing or two. Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Mi nombre es Juan González, el nuevo miembro de la Rack Company. Y el día de hoy estoy ante ustedes para dejarles saber que vamos a estar aquí haciendo grabaciones totalmente en español, haciendo FAQs, videos informativos. Y te has de preguntar, ¿por qué yo? Bueno, yo ya tengo más de 20 años de experiencia y 10 años con mi negocio en All Season allá en Idaho Falls. Así es que los invito a todos ustedes de habla hispana que se hagan tune in al nuevo canal de The Rag Company en español. Ahí los vemos. Hey guys, it's Zaydee of The Rag Company and here on The Rag Company YouTube channel, we launched something new and exciting. We all love seeing garage tours and seeing how other people's garages are laid out and we thought we would do our own twist on that. And while we aren't so obsessed, we're definitely good enough. And so what we want to do is make an entire new series, bring you guys along and doing garage tours of different people's garages to see layouts, what they've done with the walls, what they've done with the floors, what they've done with the lighting, the storage, the tools, the detailing products, and so on. It's going to be a really cool series to hopefully give you guys new ideas and maybe make it more relatable to everybody watching. It's not obsessed garage, but it's definitely good enough garage. So check that out here on the Rag Company YouTube channel. All right, we are back. 
waiting for our second uh, king cake, our actual mm -hmm. king cake. We got all this cool stuff here from uh, from Daniel. Appreciate it, Daniel. Do you know? Oh my gosh, the king cake's coming. Here it's coming. It comes. Let's walk it in the oh door. Oh my gosh. All right, oh, Glenn, man. thank you for bringing it. Let's see, where did I put my knife at? I had to grab a granola bar because... You're getting hungry? <laughs> I'm getting hungry, man. This is a Bav half Bavarian, half cream cheese cake inside. That sounds dangerous. So what was the last one we got? I can't remember the last one we got from Daniel. He does this every year. Daniel, we really That's appreciate it. That's my favorite it. thing. I look yep. forward to it It's every one of the year. things we enjoy. Who got the baby last year? Me. You did. I bit right. into it. I, yeah. broke, I chipped a tooth. I remember that. Ah, it's, it's a rosca. Mm-hmm. Ah. La rosca de reyes. Sí, 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 sí. Para los que están mirando aquí y hablan español, este, les mandan un pastel cada año, un pastel de, bueno, no es un, es un pan de, de rosca de reyes, este, donde tiene el, oh. el santito. Bueno, el niño Dios, ¿no? El sí. niño Dios y el que gana, no way. el que gana, el que el que gana oh, el niño Dios, ese niño Dios se eh, hace en fiesta. So, I don't know if you knew this, but in the Mexican tradition, if you bite into it, or if you get the little cheese, what that. they call it, it, you have to make the next party at your oh, house. Oh, really? Yes. That's so there that it is. is beautiful. There it what's, is. What's and in, it even came with its own knife. Ah. That's amazing. So wow. that is going to be uh, delicious to enjoy. Was and, it cold? Uh, probably cold. Pull it out. Pull it out of here. Oh wow! So we can set it on the table. Look at that. Who's gonna get the baby this year? I don't know, but it'll be interesting. We'll have to try it out after we uh, whoever after does, finish the Q and A. Make a party, and that's actually what it is. So. Yeah. yeah. So I think Seabass is gonna get some coffee brewed later here with our community <laughs> coffee, our uh, king cake edition. I can get that started now. He can get that started now. Actually, he's he's. <laughs> He's, He's chomping at the bit. He's ready to go. Sea bass will throw you one bag. Here we go. Hey! Good catch. All right, so back to another question. What do we have here? Spencer saying, hey guys, question for Anthony. I have a 2020 or I have a 2012 Cadillac CTS V and I coated it in Crystal Serum Ultra. Being accredited, mm -hmm. why not? What do I have to do to get on the Wednesday wash and talk? Wednesday wash and talk. Thanks. What do I have to do? Ah, he wants to do a wash Wednesday. He needs to do a wash Wednesday. Yeah. Wash Wednesday. He needs to do a wash mm. Wednesday. I okay. think that's the shirt I wore today. So, Spencer, you're and you're local, right? I don't know. Is Spencer local? Spencer, local? if you're local, I, then yeah, yeah, you can I come on down. We that's have not easy. done a CTSV, and I think that that no, actually be a lot of I think fun. That'd be great. So, um, yeah, man, if you want to come down and and party and have fun with us and do a wash on it, I think you're 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 more than welcome. Just. Yep. Uh, Get it set up. You know, you can reach me through email, Anthony at theragcompany.com, uh, or you can try to get on the schedule with Gabe at theragcompany.com, and we can see what we can do for you. So, yep. um, Future Prison says, Happy New Year, TRC crew. Thank you, Future Prison. Great to hear. Shot Happy New Year to you, future man. Future Prison. Spencer, Juan, let's hear your 30 second elevator pitch when someone asks for pricing on a ceramic coating and go. Uh, what? <laughs> So, you want to say, like, if you only had 30 seconds to sell somebody on a ceramic coating, what is it that you would say? What why? you heard of ceramic coatings? That's what? What did you hear of ceramic coatings? Okay. What did you heard about them? That, yeah. That's, that's what his, you heard about his line. Okay. And then I ask, him, I ask him that question, so what I want is for them to answer, and then from there I'm going to say, well, whatever you heard, it's not true. Let me explain to you. This is oh. what ceramic coating works, okay. how it works, and then go from there. There you go. That's a good one. Deep clean, what's the best towel for interior cleaning to remove waxes and compounds? Uh, for interior int cleaning, or is it 365? Wax. So, 365. Yeah, 365. Edgeless 365. That's the answer. Uh, Easy. Next question here. We got Glenn's laughing at something that we said over the mic. That's too funny. Uh, we <laughs> have, uh, hey guys, uh, saying hi from Costa Rica. Ah, Costa Rica. Uh, waiting uh, March to meet you guys uh, here at RM Car Studio. Yeah. Well, we're what's going on in March? We're going to be going to Costa Rica. I'm oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Juan is going to Costa Rica in March. March, yes. I will yeah. be in Costa Rica. Yep. Very we'll exciting. The group, yeah, the no? G-Technic guys will be there. Anthony and I won't be, but you'll have Juan. He'll be there. We'll be there. And uh, that'll be awesome, Raul. And then uh, this person wrote in a language I don't understand. Boot rent. 
Yeah. And then deep clean. Juan, ¿cuál es, me es mejor campan para remover lía de 1500? 1500, gracias. Bueno, hay diferentes compuestos que tenemos aquí en Red Company. Hay un compuesto que se llama The Last Cut Plus. Este producto sí te va a remover ya sea también los, los uh, rayones de lijado de 1500 o, o si no el de um, Coach Chemi, uh -huh. el heavy one, the red one, heavy the heavy cut. Cut. Yeah. that one, ese también te va a ayudar. Los dos trabajan muy bien, so te lo recomiendo los dos. So he asked what compound can I remove, uh, you know, uh, 1500, 1500 yeah. grit, uh, mm. Sandy Marks. See, you're learning. Yay! <laughs> See. See, figured that out. Yep. All Great. right, uh, Grant Hawtrey says, uh, Dean, watching at home uh, means he's at Tony Robbins' conference talking about their next book release. <laughs> um, yeah, could be. It could be, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Grant Marshall says, Levi, I'd be interested in Beadmaker versus uh, M K Wax, a comparison. That's uh, Mitchell and King Wax Plus. Ooh, Mitchell and King Wax Haven't Plus. Haven't used that product yet. I got to so try that we, one out. Uh, we did go in through and smell everything. We right? did smell everything. Yep. All smells good. RSX Freak 79 finally cleaned the Civic's interior since purchase. Mm. KCX Polestar 4 to 1 topped it with KCX Top Star. Oh my, the scent and subtle finish it leaves is second to none. How often should I reapply Top Star? So Gabriel, I'd probably try to get uh, Top Star applied. Quite, uh, probably every uh, every probably every two to three months on that. The reason being is that if that if I remember right, and I do because I know that car pretty well, um, the plastics were so dried out for so long that they need more moisture on on, on that, especially on that dash. So. I would say every couple of months, you know, hit it with a little bit of, you know, that top star. But I don't think that you'd necessarily have to go through the full decon again of doing, uh, you know, pull start four to one again if you didn't want to. You can apply top star on its own as top star actually has some cleaning ability. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. So it's pretty nice. So, um, but yeah, other than that, the plastics on that car is in great shape. They're in great the, shape. The yeah. interior panels, the dash, everything, the whole rear of that car was in such good shape. Uh, but yeah, don't be afraid to uh, keep that stuff moisturized and keep that UV protection up. Uh, with the tinted windows, though, it should probably make things a little easier. Yeah. Uh, Danny says, what kind uh, best car soap would you guys recommend? So we sell quite a few different car soaps that we love, and we only sell them because we love them. Uh, but uh, GSF is fantastic. G-Wash is fantastic. Um, Pearl. Pearl for the is fantastic. price. You can do so much oh, with man. it. Yeah. For the price? Pearl, you can't beat it for the price. That's the one soap I don't, you know, I don't mind using a lot of. Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. I always keep a gallon on hand because it's always nice to have. I'll go through the other stove soaps just for fun, but mm -hmm. it always comes in handy. You don't have to use a lot. Yeah, yeah but it always like comes in handy when I don't when I'm maybe out of some of the others. I know that I don't have to. I'm not taking a step down. Mm -hmm. You know, like I know I'm getting good good products, good usage, just ready to rock and roll. So and some people say maybe it's worth it. And I say maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline, maybe it's maybe it's PNS. <laughs> Mitch along. when was the last time y'all used CCR, Optimum's Clear Coat Restore? Well, been, honestly, when we used to sell it. It's been a couple years. It's been now. a couple years, man. I put it on my, uh, oh. Anthony and I put it on the hood of my little S10 that I used to own, a GMC Sonoma. Uh, I found an S10 hood in red, had some lacquer checking, so we sanded it down. Uh, and then I put CCR over it to uh, fill in all the crow's feet that were on there, all the lacquer checking. Um, and then it was nice and smooth, but I still had the lacquer checking under the clear. So I basically re-cleared a lacquer checked hood. Um, worked fine, looked great. We were able to sand it, polish it, coat it, and uh, it was a great, it's a great product. It's, it, it works. It's, it's there for when you need to repair certain things, but once it's already broken, so once it starts peeling, it's yeah. not going to work for you. So it's only if it gets thin to the point of breaking. That's when you put that on there. It builds that layer up. So. I had a question for you, Levi. Unrelated <laughs> to what's currently going on right here. Have you ever been to Louisiana? No, you ever been to New not. Orleans? Never. Never? I my, think you would like it. So my children's favorite <laughs> Disney movie, yeah. Princess and the Frog. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take one of those boxes home, yeah. the beignet mix, because my children are going to die. Yeah. To be able to make beignets. They're gonna be like, Oh my gosh, we gotta make these. I went to so. I went to this cafe. Yeah. When I was there. So for my it was my twenty it was it was my birthday before coming here. Right? Oh, nice. Before coming to the rag company, I was twenty six oh it's twenty I turned twenty seven, right? Yeah, twenty seven, yeah. So I turned twenty seven 
And for that birthday, for my 27th birthday, they, my friends had asked me, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to go to New Orleans. And I want to go, I want to go eat food. I want to go walk around. I want to go to the World War II Museum. I want to have some fun, right? Mm -hmm. I ate more beignets on that trip than I've ever eaten my entire <laughs> life, which is about right because I'd never had beignets before right, that. Yeah. So <laughs> I, uh, but we went to uh, uh, Café du Monde and, 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 and had, uh, had some beignets there. But surprisingly enough, these were very good. Mm -hmm. Right, and I don't know if they used the, the same mix there or whatever it was, but we ate at the cafe, and they were very good. But there was actually like a, a place, kind of somewhere in the middle of the what's the street, the Poppin Street there that everybody goes to, um, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, right? There's a place like smack dab right in the middle that has like a little cut out there where he had some beignets there as well. Those may have been better. I'm just saying, oh. but, but that also could have been because I had two of these things called jesters. Right, yeah. uh, the gestures I'm pretty sure were made with something out of this world, uh, and uh, that could have been the answer that, to that too. But such a fun time! I can't wait to go to, to New Orleans sometime with Levi uh, during crawfish season. Yeah, that yeah. sounds have, like a great have time a for bit, me. Have, have a little bit of alligator, right? A little bit of some shellfish, right? I'll, I'll, I'll eat the alligator, well, yeah. but I won't be able to eat the Juan, shellfish. Juan, you want to come with us? What about, what about a little crawfish for you? No, uh, I'm I'm down. You're down alligator? Do you yeah, that? I mean, oh, man. see, I'm sure it just tastes like chicken. My yeah. man. <laughs> Chicken of the sea, we're right? We're doing it. All right, Deep Clean saying, hey guys, what's the best compound and polish pad you recommend? Uh, so best compound and polish pad. Realistically, you can't beat that Rupes coarse wool in blue. That is like a do-it-all, gets everything done, and with very low marring, uh, just an amazing, amazing pad. So if I had one and done, that one, or... Uh, an orange HDO, HDO, Lake Country HDO, or the maroon uh, Buff and Shine uh, maroon Euro foam. Those are really the three that can do it all. They can yes. compound and polish. They're kind of they're best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Han says Juan looks like a wrestler with that mask and eye patch on. Uh, when he, oh, when no, you had your mask on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then uh, Claude says, Zoro, Toro, and Hebro, the masked YouTubers. <laughs> Hebro. <laughs> uh, Corey B says, that king cake looks great. Anyone know where I can order a package, or is that custom from Daniel? I Daniel, don't, I don't know. You're going to have, Daniel, you have to put it up on the, on the screen and Please see. Do. Let some of these people know. I know that he can, that, I don't know, what's that box say? It says king cake delivered by FedEx. I'm sure you guys could take a look. King cake. Yeah. And uh, see. Exactly. How, how they do it because it, it's so cool, man. I'm telling you, like we're so pumped every single year. It says when we get this. Uh, Cajun Yum Yum dot com. Do it. Just it's also don't think about it. Do it. Meche's King Cake. So Meche King Cakes dot com. So from Lafayette, Louisiana, to the Rag Company from Daniel Mo. So. Uh, check it out. Cool, See, man. that's probably how you're gonna get them. You could probably they bought a bunch of all this stuff together. So, kind mm -hmm. of a cool thing. So, if you're gonna plan your own Fat Tuesday party right before Mardi Gras, it's a good reason to do well, it. I mean, this is so. a full. Yeah, this is a feast. Is yeah, what this, this is, is which is just set. absolutely crazy. Oh, and he goes, crazy. "Oh, found the site. Thank you." There you go. Cafe Du Monde beignet mix and a king cake straight Nola. Yeah. Corey B says I ordered it from Mitch's Donuts in Lafayette. Gambino's Bakery is another great choice. So. That's, it's so exciting. I it love really, this. It, this so is the best thing ever. I yeah. thought, seriously, we can get these beignets on deck, right? I think you can air fry these. We right? probably could. You don't yeah. have to fry them in oil if you don't yeah. want to, but I mean, I mean, I don't know what the recommendations are there, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> this, this is party. Yeah. This right here, that's party. It's, it's what this is, this yeah. is Anthony going from 240 to probably 280 in just a couple days. Yep, yep, there you go. That's how we're, we're doing behind, it, starting our man. party, right? <laughs> so uh, you, uh, Graham uh, says, oh, so you've smelt everything. Well, it's a start on the Mitchell and King. So uh, Graham, to let you know, I do have all those products at home, and I am playing with them. Uh, I've used a couple different products right now. Uh, so far, so good, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of soaps, and we've had a massive amount of snow and there's a yeah. pretty cleaner some other stuff whether so i haven't, right I haven't been able to do a, a wash actually wash with it because the weather outside has not been cooperative so um hopefully soon i can do that so and so sea bass is currently brewing up some of this king coffee yeah uh, i wish excited. we had cups uh coffee cups we do i think uh, do we yeah so if sea bass if you're hearing this i would like a coffee cup please there with my king coffee uh, if you find one 
Oh, Thanks. Spencer says I'm from South Dakota, but would be willing to come to Boise for you, Anthony. Oh, that's Kissy such a face. Nice thing. The V has a cam and a header. And does 640 wheel horsepower. See, that's a what? Two hour trip? Yeah. So, right? yeah, at least two hours. So, so uh, someday, <laughs> right? Spencer, I wouldn't want you to, you know, to tarnish the finish on that and making it all the but, way over. But if you're, hey, if you got that thing on a trailer thing, someday and you're passing by, stop it, stop in. The other we'll great thing, though, he's going to be able to stay at the fabulous Home to Suites. Ooh, yep. It's yes, a great will. place. You know? Well, do you like himself. the Home to Suites? Oh, I just stay there every once once a month. Yeah, yeah once, it's, once. It feels like a home, a home away from it's home. It's a home. It's it is, they it all is know him when he walks in. He's like, oh, hey, welcome back. I'm like, thank you. You ever go to the gym and get a workout in there? I do. I do the same thing that you that I did. Yeah, I was yeah, doing. Like yeah. a little bit of that, right? We'll Stretching shoulders. The breakfast in the morning. The Anthony talks yeah. stuff. And yeah. the breakfast in the morning, oh, you go the there, right? They like, have man. It's a it's a breakfast of kings. It's a breakfast of kings, and it's right next to the Trader Joe's too. So if you have to do any shopping for yourself to make use of that kitchenette, right? Yeah, yeah. It's right there. Yep. Walking you know. distance. Yeah. Bottle of wine. Jeff C, regarding bead maker durability, my wife's X5 hasn't been washed in at least four months. For the last two months, it's been covered in road salt. Not coated yet, only has bead maker still there. There you See, go. Jeff, that's, that's what right. I like to hear. That's right? what it's about. So maybe, Jeff, next time you're on the, uh, you're on the what's it called? On the YouTube, on the Facebook. Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh. Thank, thank you so much, Seabass. Did you hear me? I delicious. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it smells like cinnamon. Oh. Honestly, it has it smells of cinnamon, a little bit of cigarette smoke inside there as well. No way. I swear to you, when you smell it, right, and you'll be like, oh, this reminds me of New Orleans. It does, <laughs> right? It's a, it's a, it's like a nice, it's a sinner's yeah. coffee is what I, I call this. Huh. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You have to smell that, Levi. Tell me if I'm right though, right? You get the cinnamon, the coffee. A little bit of like oh yeah, it's kind of a funky, reminiscent yeah, smoky, yeah. smoky it's got a bit of a smoky it. scent to it. <laughs> That's how you the know it's good. It's I'm good, telling yeah. you, it could be the plastic <laughs> burning. I'm not sure. <laughs> so <laughs> Troy Preston burning. saying the best way to apply <sighs> CTV3. So CTV3, Two very ways. simple, very easy to apply. All you got to do is uh, is. Spray it on, wipe it off. There's, That's it. There's two ways that you can, you that go, you can apply it. You can actually apply it while you're washing the vehicle, while you're drying it so, as a drying method. So you can just, before you dry the vehicle, you just spray some so CTV3 and then just dry it out. Or yeah. while it's dry, just spray a little bit, but make sure you don't spray a lot because if you spray a lot, you start creating those, um, what is it called? Uh, high spots. High spots. Yeah. So yeah, just. A little goes a long way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a. Oh, it is dust. How does smell? Got the. Do you, you see what I mean? It's oh, like dust. it does. It's but it's good. It's <laughs> like that sets the that sets the vibes more than anything I've ever had. It's That's pretty amazing. Good. It's like close your eyes. Ah, and yeah. Wow. It smells Impressive. like. Um, oh man, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying. I don't know how to describe it. There we go. A little coffee describe. talk, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, um, that's how we do it. So uh, we are caught up with are all we? the questions, and we've still got forty, 40 minutes something minutes. Well, so. I can tell you that this coffee smells like you, you smell it. You close your eyes, like you had. It reminds you of the last party you had that you enjoyed. It's like, oh no, wow. this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like smelling this right reminds me of when I was walking oh. through New Orleans at like. I don't know, one o'clock in the morning, right? And we stopped to get beignets and a little bit of coffee mm -hmm. to keep us going, right? But it already smelled like so much sin out there during that night with everything that's been going on. Yeah, so much alcohol. This is what this, uh, <laughs> it's what it reminds me of. I don't know it's amazing, do. yeah. It smells good. It smells good. So this is a little uh, thing from Ricky Meech's Donut King about Seabass. the king cake. Yeah, what do you think? Wanted to say that it's uh, Mardi Gras season officially begins on the 12th night of Christmas. So 12th day after Christmas mm -hmm. or January 6th, also known as the Epiphany or Little Christmas. Since the third century, the Epiphany has been observed as a day that the three wise men finally found the infant Jesus. King cakes therefore were initiated to celebrate this holy day and a small baby doll is placed in each cake to symbolize finding the baby Jesus. King cakes are oval shaped and decorated in carnival colors, green, yellow, and purple. As the cake is cut, each person is to look to see if his piece contains the small baby. The person who finds the baby <laughs> has to buy the next king cake for the next year. 
Start this mm. tradition in your home, class, or office. No Mardi Gras is complete without a king cake from Meech's Donut Kitchen. King cake season ends on Fat Tuesday, which is notoriously the day before Ash Wednesday, which is Mardi Gras. That whole season so is So where Mardi are we Gras. at in the time? Where's the calendar? Where are we at? We're seven or eight days after the 12th mm -hmm. day start. Okay, so, so currently Mardi Gras is going on? Mm -hmm. is a, technically is the start of Mardi Gras season. Okay, so when does it end? On Fat Tuesday. Which is what day? March 1st. March 1st, Nick? March 1st. So, there you go. Is that what that is? So, yep. Mm -hmm. So, so you go. only have about a month and a half of, part of good partying. Yeah, about six weeks left to get in wasted. Wow. So, because That's famously crazy. what happens is then Ash Wednesday, you end Fat Tuesday, mm -hmm. Ash Wednesday is when you then wait 40 days until Easter Sunday. That's so. That's what. That's why Nick brings in these 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 dang donuts. Yeah, these, he, what, brings what these, he brings these little king what, cakes. What, what, what are they called? Potchkeys. Potchkey. Potchkeys, right? Yeah. Those things have to have like 3,000 calories. Yeah, they're apiece, delicious right? though. But he brings <laughs> them in, and we have yeah. like four or five of them. We do. And then we're walking kind of weird for that. Well, that's why we're doing our walks. Our daily walks <laughs> going to help us out with all these things. We're trying to lose weight. And so that that's why um, I'm definitely going to be bringing a beignet mix home. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to leave Katie to her own, you know, devices with this. And I say, yeah. hey, if you make them, I'm not going to be not happy. But if you make them and I have to eat all of them, then you, you know might what? have a problem. You just have to drink two gallons of water. Two yeah. gallons. Of, oh, that's Instead it. To balance it out. Right? Balance it out. Just, just be balance pH it balanced. Out. <laughs> right? well, I will say, I'm loving pH this. Balance, I am. Buddy. I am loving this. This is a great. This is a great gift. I really yeah, do appreciate thank you, Daniel. this. Thank Seriously, you very much. Great. This is so nice of you. Uh, to do this. Insomniac just got some interior scrub mitts, and they are total game changers for interiors. Good. Oh, that coffee is good. I'm All good right, uh, Mitchell Long. If you had to give one up. Mountain Dew or Pepsi products. The joke's on you, Mitchell. They're for the same company. Yeah. So I don't have to give up either one. Now, in my household, it's Diet Pepsi and Diet Mountain Dew. Those are the two purchases we make. And it's super funny to see. Uh, right now, my wife has been really not enjoying life because of the fact that <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew has been hard to That's find. That's the way you started that off. My wife hasn't been enjoying life. Okay, why? Okay. Diet Mountain okay. Dew. Yeah. Almost non-existent in the state of Idaho. So do you know what's also non-existent? What? Red Bull. Yeah. Really? Red Bull, yes. Right now, Red Bull is literally, it is being depleted. I mean, there is nothing left in the stories. And I don't know what it was. So what? one thing I do know... Huh is with like it's bad right now you can't get a sugar-free can of red bull it's, right. impossible. it's impossible so diet mountain dew the yeah. biggest thing is it it's <clears throat> regular oh, mountain dew outsells it yeah so pepsi has started prioritizing shipments mm. and so they're loading up trucks with the big sellers mm -hmm. pulling back some of the smaller stores are not giving enough so when it hits a store Old Pepsi Pete will text me and say, hey, I just got a pallet in over here at the 36th and State Albertsons, and I head over there after work and load up. Really? Because the other night, I was cruising around, went to Fred Meyer's to get some soda, some milk, a couple of groceries. My wife said, hey, I need some soda. Walked in, no Diet Mountain Dew. Wow. In the whole Fred Meyer's, which is a Kroger. And then headed down to the Albertsons, found two 12-packs was all they had of Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, honey. <laughs> that's what I, and I had to pay full freight. On that full price, full yeah. price, full five price. five fifty M MSRP. Yeah, yeah. five fifty a twelve pack, which was a uh, highway robbery <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Over. Jeez, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They had dealer markup on that. <laughs> so. They're doing dealer markups on everything <laughs> yeah. right now, man. On everything. Jeez, so. even the Pepsi we're drinking these days <laughs> yeah. are dealer markups. Yeah, so uh, it was funny because she said maybe I'm gonna have to switch to zero sugar Mountain Dew because that one they still seem to have some stock here and there in pockets, but majority is full flavor Mountain Dew, so I thought that was kind of surprising. Such a, but. such a dummy. Look at this. There's, there's dates on the cups. Yeah, for all the... I was literally asking, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, when's the cutoff here? March 1st, 2022. That's the end date. Uh, yeah. You can't see that. That's the end date of Mardi Gras. Or All right, so Scott Matern. Hey guys, I've been listening intermittently. Sorry if it's been addressed. Is there an updated or Dr. Color Chip video coming soon? I have a kit, and I thought I remember you saying there was one in the works. Anthony? Yes. I'm sorry, Gabe. 
Gabe's aware now that we have to make the video. I think he's been aware that we may make, we need to make the video. So we're going to get that on the schedule sooner than later. I actually had the kit around here. Um, we it's moved over it. there. It's actually over there. It's on the, in the box. Um, so yeah, we are going to be making that video, but we are going to be doing something a little bit more in depth. And so, and we let Dr. Killer Chip know this. Not only are we going to be making an application video that's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more detailed, right, on, on the breakdown of how it works, but also showing the capabilities of a chip once it is filled. So uh, showing that you can in fact polish over the chip that you filled and you can coat over it as well. And showing kind of the do's and don'ts of polishing and coating over it uh, to protect it for the, you know, the years to come. So um, for that, we're gonna be pulling in Nick's uh, Sequoia and I do need to be prepping that sooner than later to get those chips filled now that the snow is kind of gone. And then his is gonna be the vehicle we're gonna be polishing and coating over uh, to show you kind of the capabilities, but then my little my little blue car is going to be the one we're going to be using as our um, kind of how-to example. Yeah. So that'll be a good video. I'm excited for that. I really am. I just right time-wise, it's just it's been kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, Tom S. Any videos come coming comparing all the Kosh Kimmy washes, wash and finish, SFN, GIF, AF, Nano Magic shampoo. Thanks. So. Uh, so yeah, we haven't had a video of that, but we are going to be making some in the future, so please stay tuned because I'm sure everybody wants to know what's the difference on all of them. And we've been trying to do that with all of our product videos, but we do have some things shot already, uh, so just stay tuned and there will be some videos out there. Um, and then uh, Grant says that's because he has all the sugar-free Red Bull in his fridge in New Zealand. I wish. So better go get those. Yeah. Oh, that's cool because Grant does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dang it. Nick Stessman says, have you tried Mountain Dew Zero and do you feel like it tastes different than diet? I'm not a Mountain Dew drinker. Anthony loves Mountain Dew Zero. Okay, he that, likes that. That, okay, um, that is not true. That's like, one of your I favorite don't drinks. No, I don't love Mountain Dew. Yeah, you said that. You it's were saying that, that it's, it's that, that some thing. days I go to... That, right? Yeah. No, so I don't love Mountain Dew. I think Mountain Dew is, is pretty good. <laughs> I think the I Major it. Melon is pretty good. So I actually, what I love is I love the squirt, the sugar-free squirt. <laughs> yeah. And I've been telling Pepsi We've got Pete, a 12 pack back there. We still have to crack well, open. I've been telling Pepsi fridge. Pete, I said, hey, do you guys have like a sugar-free Sierra Mist? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. something like a sugar-free lemon soda or whatever. Right. Um, nothing, right? So, but we get like 15 different varieties of Mountain Dew. And I'm not complaining because I think that they are good. It's just by far from being my favorite thing to drink. Mm-hmm. I'm never like, hey, man, I just really want a Mountain Dew right now. That is not me. Hmm. I drink it because it's just there. Yeah. I don't have a particular, like, favorite soda. I do, however, love Fresca. And I think that Fresca is refreshing. It is good. It is not a Pepsi product, unfortunately. But what can well, you we do? Well, we get Squirt Zero. Yeah, it's the closest thing. Yeah. So, uh, Nick, wanting to know, also, can you talk about the difference between Coach Kimmy SFN and AF? Um, yeah, so SFN and AF. So basically, um, so active foam is going to be your slightly more alkaline soap. And I say slightly because uh, on the pH scale, that is an eight. Um, and it is, it is something that offers a little bit more cleaning power than that of GSF, obviously. Um, and by, I mean, when I say a little, I mean, it's, it's a decent amount of its own active cleaning power. Uh, but I think it puts on a good show, it smells great, and that is kind of, it, it's not their dedicated car wash soap that Coach Kimmy makes for car washes, that would be getting into super foam, uh, but um, active foam definitely balances kind of between the consumer and the uh, pro in terms of um, self kind of self cleaning soaps. And so uh, active foam, in my opinion, I think it smells the best. It's, uh, it's like a cologne type of smell. Uh, I can't believe we didn't sell out. We do. Yeah. We, is it still available? I have no idea. We have to only have like five gallons left, maybe less than that, or five, you know, five five liters left. There's, we didn't get much to begin with, so I'd be very shocked to yeah. see if it, if it was still available on the site. And we don't know when we're getting more. So if you're asking this and you're between getting one or two, I'm telling you right now, I have no idea when we're getting more. And it's not like I have no idea if we're getting more in the next couple of weeks. I have no idea if we're getting more in the next couple of months. So if we have it available and order you want to buy it, I'd probably <laughs> order it. Um, but for Superfoam, Superfoam was their dedicated, or is one of their dedicated touchless wash uh, soaps that they mm -hmm. offer in automated car washes, uh, especially over in Germany. Uh, so 
That is something that was, again, brought to a consumer level to be able to use in your own home in a foam cannon or a two bucket method if you'd like to do it that way. Uh, but super foam has substantially more cleaning power than active foam uh, and it can be used as a true touchless wash depending on your dilution. Um, but the pH level of that is right behind Gabe over there. He can actually check. I think it was a 12? You're getting, no, he had nine? Nine? Active foam's a nine or an eight. What's that say on, on super foam? Oh, super foam? Should say right in that top, uh, top, top corner there? 12. 12 on super foam. And then active foam, is that a nine, nine or an eight? Nine? 9.5. 9. 9.5. Okay, sorry. So I got active foam wrong. It was a 9.5, not an eight. My bad. <laughs> uh, because that makes sense, though, because GSF yeah. says 7.5. Yep. Yes. So Scott Matern says, awesome. I'll look forward to the Dr. Color Chip video. Brianna Call says, I love the squirt, says Anthony. That's what she said. <laughs> <coughs> I choked on the cigarette smell of this coffee. That's uh, like, ben I says, love it. Is it possible to add a Schrader valve to an IK Multi Pro 12, such as the Foam Pro 12 has? It is not possible to do that as the mold is different on the top in the yeah. stock location. I'm not saying that you can't drill into the side of your, your thing, but I don't think you should because you're going to avoid the warranty and potentially harm yourself and others. So um, I, know I don't know. The, it I just know it's something like it's in the works or possibility. They want to be able to add that to folks. But like I said, they're doing things as they test and make sure that Where did everybody get this it. idea that you can just go and take a foam 12? Well, and, because for years, and, well, for years, yeah. years prior to this, before IK even came to the U.S., yeah, correct. You could go get an Ace Hardware sprayer, yeah. drill a hole, throw a Schrader valve in it, run it until it dies, take it back to Ace, say there's something wrong with this thing, doesn't hold pressure, metal and you'd trade fitting. a different one out, and you'd get a different one because they have a lifetime guarantee. Yeah. As long as you kept the box, you throw them in the box. I went through about 90 of those things probably. Yeah, you can't like, tell people to do that. We so, sell product now. I know, but that's what I used to do. So yeah. <laughs> back in the day when I had my detail shop. Yeah. So there's always been this affinity for detailers to inherently modify equipment. Yeah. But I will say that was when I was young and I was stupid. Okay. So now I you, don't want to have a, a thing explode on me. Yeah. I don't want to waste gallons of product and time. So that's why I like using safe products that are designed and tested to handle those kind of pressures, which yeah. is why IK has started making those with the valve stem because they've tested and redesigned the mold to be able to withstand those pressures. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize when you're filling and putting 120 pounds of air pressure into those containers. That don't have geez. an automatic air release. That don't have an automatic air release. <laughs> I've had vessels break on me you keep going, ones. you keep going, and you're like, oh, I can't fit any more air in it. It must be yeah. full, right? Yeah. Not you that it's about the to explode. The bottom of it bursts starts, out, explodes, where it's well, vacuum it sealed. It, well, it those starts, old, janky, the mold cheap starts ones. ballooning outward, yep. and you're like, is this okay? Is this safe? Yeah, and you just made it not, in, you, know, you just sound. structurally sound by <laughs> drilling a hole in it. So yeah. uh, that's the thing that IK has done really well, is they, they actually test and actually certify that these products can hold this type of air pressure and that's and then they have the safety valves so that's why so as they're going i'm sure we'll see more and more as the industry requires that and they'll see that so reach out to ben reach out to ik send them a letter saying send them an email saying you want to see it be able to see if you can get a multi pro 12 with a schrader valve attachment you know the more people that ask them the more potential there is for them to make something like that mm -hmm. Uh, TPD details going with the wrong team here, but do you but do you coke light on Idaho? Do we have coke light in Idaho? Is that what he's saying? Uh, yeah, coke light. Like, do we have Diet Costa coke? Rica? TPD details, Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, we, have, yeah we have Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Diet Coke. Yeah. yeah. And then Nick says, "Thank you for the info, Anthony." And then Brianna Cole says, "Forgot to say we had another gem." Levi saying, "I had a bigger." LJG by holding his, his uh, Pepsi. That was a pretty good one. That was a good one. And uh, we're caught up. Guys, I mean, I, unless we start getting more questions, you know, we, we, we might have to end this stream somewhat <laughs> well, soon. We got a king cake. We have a king cake, we we have a king cake eat, that we need to start diving into. I'm surprised Dane's not chiming in. It's, uh, hopefully he's okay. Yeah. We know that people that are in line for this king cake, we have Sebastian in line first, ready to rock and roll. He's literally been standing we, there we with got, a plate and fork he, and knife, and I'm like, 
Man, it, the show's happening right now. You don't yeah. need to be there with it. But he, uh, but yeah, so um, some of the things this month that uh, maybe we're looking forward to, what we got going on here, mm -hmm. we've got a special guest that's going to be in the podcast on Friday yeah. with us. Very exciting. Uh, we're not going to spoil it till uh till the podcast friday uh, monday morning so that'll it be very be exciting friday, monday. sorry yeah, monday, monday sorry yeah. a very special guest very special guest we're it. very excited um tuesday and wednesday all this week we've got hopefully next week we're going to be able to announce the grand ambassador of 2021 very exciting stuff. I know. We, like I said, we really need to get on that sooner than later because there is a, there is a time issue there if we do not get the announcement out there fast enough. Speaking of Grand Masters of the Year, thank you. Look at this, Mountain Town detail. Uh, just dig in, boys. He wants us. He wants us. Justin wants us to just he dive in. He wants us to eat the cake. I know. I want to eat, eat the, the cake. I want to eat the cake too. You know? um, and then uh, the uh, what else we got at the end of this month? So basically, we're going to be shooting, finishing a couple videos. Mm -hmm. We got to get out. We uh, don't have much more shooting needed for the rest yeah. of the month for what we're working on. But biggest thing we've got going on for us, in case you guys are wondering, is we do have not only mobile tech, but next month we are preparing to shoot our newest opening cinematic scenes. Oh man, it's going to be good for guys. TRCMA. They have. They don't know. They don't even know what. They don't, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. No, but if you guys want to, you guys one of the great in. things, go back. You can watch the uh, uh, V8 Bros, the yeah. commute, the morning commute to the Rag Company. That was yeah. what we did last year for TRCMA, where me and the boys driving into work. That was such a fun video. But that's we're basically taking something like that, an opening feature. Yeah. And we're gonna create a bigger feature. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty it next one. level. Let's just say yes. since we pulled in Anthony Blaine, right? Yeah. Who essentially knows how to make movies. Yeah, right? that's which is, basically which is, it. Which is pretty amazing. Um, he is going to be walking us through this. We have scripts. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing table reads. We're doing table reads. We have things that we've never even done before. And it's exciting because it legitimately feels like... We know what we're doing. Well, we don't really know what we're doing, but it feels like we're. <laughs> feels, feels like, like he knows what he's feels doing. Feels like he knows what he's doing, and it's we really, don't. it's really exciting. So, um, but that is something you look to look forward to as well. But um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the kind of maybe how to round out this today's Q and A here, besides questions, um, is just talking about um, kind of our, uh, our, our our plans for for traveling as well. And so, yeah, we, some of the things so we're looking at. So you guys at. are going to, to mobile tech, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be down there for what days? Uh, we'll be flying on Wednesday. Which is the second. And then flying home on Sunday. Which is the seventh. No, no it's the 26th. Oh, it's 26th to the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sorry. Six, second to the seventh. Yeah, no, no, so we're sorry. going to be <laughs> at Mobile Tech. Let me get that out here, Juan, so you know. <laughs> we're flying out on January 26th, and we're going to be flying home on the 30th of January. The 30th, yeah. So, so if... Because uh, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've actually been talking with a lot of different people, you know, who have been asking us when we're coming back down to Florida, and technically that's when we're coming back down yep. to Florida, right? Yep. So the Mobile Tech Expo, and during that time, who else do you guys want to visit? Well, uh, we've got, we're... It's Who's on be, your hit list? Well, we're not really hitting anybody. We're <laughs> okay. gonna be at Mobile Tech for like three days, so we're hoping to be able to see everybody yeah. that's attending Mobile Tech. Yep. Uh, Friday night, we've got the uh, 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 IDA uh, meet and greet, also, the annual awards banquet, which will be exciting. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to see who wins Detail Shop of the Year, Mobile Detailer of the Year, Supplier of the Year, things like that. Um, so that's always a good night to be able to hang out and see everybody. And then the rest is going to be us in the evenings, maybe going down to Disney Springs, having yeah. dinner with some friends. I know Kevin Davis has reached out and said he mm -hmm. wants to have dinner mm -hmm. with us on Wednesday night. Uh, I know that we've got folks that uh, normally we hook up with Eric and the boys. You know, our friends from Color Lock, uh, we all go down and have dinner at the Irish Pub down there in Disney Springs. You know, we'll go, go find, a, maybe go to the Edison, yeah. have some dinner yeah. there, like we've done with our friends from IK and others and uh, Rupes. So, looking forward to being able to go to all these different, um, different restaurants to see everybody, but just be able to hang out and see everyone again. Yeah. That's what I'm yep. excited about. I'm um, pretty excited. Looking forward to, looking forward to the weather. I am looking forward to the weather. It should be yeah. quite nice mm -hmm. while we're down there. Now, are you guys going to get a rental car? No, we're going to be Ubering. Really? The whole, uh, whole time. Nobody's got a rental car? No rental car. We're doing an Uber. 
So what? But that's going to be ex so expensive. Yeah, it's what it's going to be cheaper, hopefully, yeah. than a <laughs> rental car for that week. <laughs> Because rental really? cars are at a premium right now. Oh, are they? Because so. I loved when we rented from 60. Yeah, yeah. That was especially down there. It's yeah, delightful. especially down there is delightful. Um, having you know, having your own mm -hmm. vehicle, but so going to Disney Springs, hitting up that Edison, yep. you know, having some fun. Are you guys gonna be going to that Irish place at all too? Yeah, that's the game plan. I want to hit that up and have a delicious dinner there at the Irish pub, watch some dancing. You, what, are you, what are you thinking about? Because what do you what do you, what do you last thing you got corned beef and cabbage? Do you, you, know, you eat corned beef and cabbage? You got something. I don't eat corned beef and cabbage. No. What do you get? You had something Irish related. Well, I usually get a stew. A stew. Yeah, yeah. that's usually what I try to find. A nice Irish I, stew. Dude, I love the vibes down there. I think it's I so too. much fun. It's Are you gonna, what about so? What about Matt Mormon of Obsessed Garage? Are you guys gonna be able to say hi we, to him? We're not gonna be. Uh, we'll probably yes. see Matt there at, at Mobile Tech, but we're not gonna be hanging out with him. Yeah, so. is, is, he, is he gonna go? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, Hopefully. it's close. He usually does. He makes a stop. So, if he wants to hang out, we'll go hang out. So yeah. excited about it. Um, cool. And then uh, also next week, though, we have a Wednesday, we do have a live Q&A or a live wash and talk. We do. Mm -hmm. Where we're going to have a Thunderbird mm. in here. Who's Thunderbird? Not going to say. Okay. <laughs> but it's going to be a Thunderbird. It might be Danes. Yeah. It might not be. Ooh. So who knows? <laughs> Could be fun. I don't, I don't want to wash any more of Dane's vehicles. You don't want to wash any more no, of Dane's Dane vehicles? No, Dane gets me to wash all of his vehicles. Oh, I hate it. I, he made me wash his truck. I've washed yeah. his Jag uh -huh. 15,000 times. I'm tired of washing his vehicles. I haven't <laughs> washed his van yet, thank God. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, TPD Detail says, there is a light and a diet. Light is different. I'll have Juan do a test if he drinks Coke. There you go. And then uh, Brionicle says, you deserve to log off early to devour that cake. Fiesta at Wands, he's getting the baby Jesus. <laughs> Grant, <laughs> Levi, what's the name of the KC Wax? That is W001, hand wax. Mm -hmm. And then uh, best towel for drying after a car wash. Man, liquidator. pick yourself up a liquidator, pick yourself up a big one, pick one. up a gauntlet. <laughs> There's a lot of those. A uh, big, can drying. that be our special edition big one? It's yeah. a big one. That's it's what I've always called it. It's one big face, wand. one's face on the, on yeah. the bag. Yep. <laughs> Mountain Town saying TRC was so pumped. And then uh, Brenda Escalante, how many stores do you have in the U.S.? The USA. Uh, Brenda, we don't have any other stores other than this Boise store. However, we have a lot of dealers and distributors that you can find at theragcompany.com, and you can find other folks that have it. I see Brenda is a fan of the Fate of the Furious. She's a Fate of the Furious mm -hmm. fan. Yeah. She also wants to know, do you have any authorized resellers in Texas? Oh. Again, uh, you can check out our website and see. And it, you just hit the distributors mark, and then it'll show you in the US and Europe and UK, Australia. Texas all over and you can look up us and then find the state and see if there's any dealers or distributors in texas and graham are you able to divulge any pre wax stock plans uh yeah so Ooh. after uh mobile tech our next real trip isn't until may and end of may we're going to be flying from boise here to the netherlands to go spend time at Rag Company EU. Yeah. We're gonna probably have a meet and greet in the Netherlands, uh, Rag Company uh, EU, and we'll hang out there with the boys, with Patrick and the gang. We'll see Hans, we'll see those guys. Then we're gonna go from there, we're gonna head in, hop on the plane from Amsterdam, fly into London. Foggy London town. Foggy London town. From there, we are going to hang out a bit. We've still got that under wraps, kind of bit confidential. Mm -hmm. We're going to make our way up to Coventry. Yeah. Then when we get to Coventry, we'll be there at Waxstock. We're going to spend the weekend in Coventry doing Waxstock stuff. And yeah. then we're going to come back down from uh, Waxstock on that Monday morning. We're going to head back down to London. And then we usually go out. We go do the touristy stuff. We go check out Big Ben, we check out the Eye, we go on the bridge, we go wander around uh, just downtown London, yeah. have dinner with John Hole and his lovely wife and the, crew. The, the Smith and Western. West we went to the Smith and Western once, <laughs> that was Smith fun. Smith and Western, yeah. Uh, but we had dinner at the Hard Rock at Piccadilly Square. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we just, we go down and we do, do that. So uh, we'll probably spend a couple days in London checking out stuff, doing the touristy bit and then fly home. So all in all, that that trip's usually about 10 days. So we're planning on spending about three days 
at Rag Company Europe. We plan on spending three days just in London doing some actual business stuff. And then uh, three, four, three days or so uh, up in uh, up in the thing. So yeah. that's, that's kind of our goal. So um, John Roberts, got a few KC products on the shelf, GS, PS, S, and MP, love them all. What else is a must have for the product line? Ooh, I would say, honestly, GSF, if you haven't tried that yet. Um, I would say FSE is great to have on deck. FSE um, is a good one just to keep in your pocket. Just keep it, yeah, keep it in your pocket. Um, but, uh, on, I mean, dude, there isn't a product from KCX that isn't good. So I'd yeah. say try them all eventually if you Magic can. Magic Wheel Cleaner. Uh, Banger. Mountain Town says Bangers and Mash. Mash. Yeah. Um, and then uh, probably we knock out the last few here, then we're going to wrap it up. RSX Levi. Freak says 79. says big milestone for the White Civic IG page. Now has 2,000 followers. Jeez. Holy cow. Holy Who would have thought that Who car? Pretty impressive. The All right, guys. Follows. So we're gonna uh, do a little uh, wrapping it up here because that king cake is talking to us. It, it's saying we want to do this. Uh, something says pot is moving. I don't know what that means. So um, anyway, oh, oh the okay. podcast <laughs> is moving to the podcast channel. Remember <laughs> yeah. that this after we go off, it's gonna be headed over and stored. And the Rag Company podcast channel. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the Rag Company newsletter yet, the details, please do, because we've got a little special something for those that have actually subscribed. It's a little, little uh, thank you to all of you that have subscribed, and it's going to be happening here in the next couple weeks. So please, please, please go sign up. Sign up to the details, and uh, not only do we get 15% off your first order, but get access to something magical. So mm. make sure you do that. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, Juan, for being here. Make sure you subscribe to the new Rag Company and Espanol mm -hmm. channel and check out some of Juan's stuff. And as always, we'll catch you on Monday for uh, the podcast. See you guys. Yeah. See you. Well, you guys. Hasta luego.